Then, yeah, just wear the beanie. That's it. That's pretty solid. I feel good about that. That's a good way to start this. Get the attitude up high, you know. Go trade two J's if you could become Wolverine. Where are you getting all this information? I definitely heard some some rumors about it. Are you still going? For, I, I can't get goosebumps thinking about it because it's like you can hear them get the car. I was going to qualify and I was going to drive it out the racetrack. Just threw the hood over the ditch and longest employee of Knox. You did some digging there, huh? Look, I want to know right in the comments right now, if you're coming to one of the events, if you are, drop a comment and uh, let me know if you use the promo code FD podcast to check out, save you a couple of dollars. Oh no, drive the comments up. You guys don't comment enough. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm in there all the time. And if I start seeing all these, that's, uh, that's only good for me. It makes the FD, you know, the higher ups, the, the, the grand poobahs happy when you use FD podcast at checkout. They're a little happy. I mean, you know, they're not, they're not making as much money, but they're fine with it because they know you guys actually listen. And you, and, and you do the things that I ask you to do. So if you're buying a ticket, take a couple seconds, FD podcast at checkout, save a couple bucks. And uh, yeah, at the end of the year, they go, hey, you sold the ticket. So see you guys out there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Outer Zone, the official podcast of Formula Drift. My name is Jacob Gettins and got Mr. Jared DeEnda back on. What's going on, man? Um, excited, super excited about this season. Here we are going into it. Our 21st year of Formula Drift. You were in diapers when this began. So I'm, I'm doing yep. something different this year. <laughs> I'm going to wear a beanie too. So, uh, I'm, I'm branding the orange beanie. Um, so right, we're right, just, like the, it. <laughs> we're the beanie bros. I'm joking. No, we're not. What I am doing is growing my hair and beard out. I am just going for it, bro. That's, that's what I'm I doing. like it. I like it. I no seriously like it's uh it's good. I mean I I I are you going to like trim it all back in before the show or is the plan just like we're going full know. scruff? I have no, no idea. I don't know what what day is it? I don't even know. I go, I'm I <laughs> Until, golf four times yeah. I go four times this week. Had a great event <laughs> for my buddies at Puma and Quiet Golf and Laguna. And randomly Laguna Beach run into Ken and Marshall who's Dylan Hughes kind of team manager and team team yeah. I don't know what you call him. He's like the the principal. Team guy. Team guy, but um, team. excited to host an event for Dean Carney. Um, yeah, dude, Damn. so much You're buzz, busy. so much yeah. buzz right now, right? Can you feel it, dude? It's uh, it's been good. Yeah, there's, a, I mean, a ton of announcements, driver changes, mm -hmm. um, people in, people out, new, you know, fresh faces, fresh names. So it's a lot. I mean, I, I, you, you would know better than I would, but I feel like this is the most amount of changes we've seen to FD at least in the last ten years, maybe since we started. I love the testimony of Von Kitten Jr. backing and supporting the qualifying change. It's it, mm -hmm. it's confusing, not going to lie. When Ryan told me about it oh, yeah. months ago, I was like, what, what, how? But it makes <laughs> sense. Once, once we go into round one, we'll divulge exactly how it goes down. You and Ryan did such a good job really elaborating on it more, given the scenarios, you know, the 16 locked and loaded, the 16 fighting for it. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, previous round winners, not current standings. That's the big one. Um, but yeah. overall, dude, Ben Hobson's new livery. I love that they peppered in a little bit of pink. Um, Jeff Jones just announced he's on a different tire manufacturer this year. A um, lot of shifting, a lot of excitement. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot. But uh, I mean, I know that things that haven't changed really uh, tracks. As far as I know, tracks mm -hmm. are staying the same. A lot of talk about potentially changing layouts. Obviously, Orlando almost had a new layout last year. Um, turns out there's a big pothole in the way, so couldn't do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen anything layout-wise uh, that's been officially announced. Just a lot of talk on that end. But yeah, um, tracks, at least that's staying the same this year. There's like one one consistency. We know what airports we're going to. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Hey, congrats to you, man. You're going to be in the booth the, the Thanks, entirety man. of the season. Um I'll welcome you. You have to get your uh, FD tattoo in order to uh, yeah. be there in Long Beach. So we're going to do that. I am not getting Sweet. one, but you have to get one. No. This is me bullying you. So <laughs> you and your dumb little teal beanie can join me up there. Everybody's like, thank God. Thank God Jared's gone. Uh, They're like, no, I I'm, I'm just no, joining him. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, man. It's, uh, I mean, for anybody who's saying that, like, watch your mouth. Like, that's... That's, I mean, that's how I looked at it. Anytime I saw it, I was like, listen, dude's been doing it 20 years. I'm not here to replace anybody. There's no replacing Jared DeAnda. It's not, it's not going to happen. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And that's, that's the conversation Sage and I had as far as he says, yeah. dude, the job, the job is yours until, until you don't want it, you know? And, yeah. and I think, I think given, you know, I, I did an interview about you. Uh, somebody asked me questions about, Hey, what do you think of Jacob? I said, 
his enthusiasm, his passion, he he comes from this, it's, what's what, what was that movie, Mark Wahlberg, where he's singing front row and he ends up becoming the lead singer of the band? Oh, you know I can't what I'm remember. talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It, yeah, that, yeah. And, and take this as a compliment. The, the fan has has cracked the code. The young Padawan has become a, a Jedi. So it's, it's, it's really cool to see somebody, and, and you see this all the time, right? Like I, I can't remember if I've elaborated on this story where I was announcing Red Bull Global Rallycross. I'm in North Carolina. This kid comes up to me. He says, hey man, and he's working safety. Comes up, it's rained out of van. It's disgusting weather. Muddy track is gross. Comes up to me, he says, hey, my name's Tanner. I grew up going to Formula Drift. I'm, oh, oh, your name's Tanner? He's named after Tanner Faust. Oh, he, wow. he wants to be, he lives in Southern California, right? But we happened to meet in North Carolina. Years later, during the COVID years, we had the four double headers. This, cut, this kid comes up to me, Monster Energy hat, but he's all in fire department gear. This is Tanner. He eventually did become a fireman. He's in <laughs> Irwindale and he grew, it's just like even yesterday, I, I, or this weekend, I, I don't know when this is going out. I hosted this event for Puma and Quiet Golf. And this kid comes up to me. I say kid, because he's young, 10 years younger than me. He's 30 something. He says, dude, I saw, like, he works at Puma Golf. And he says, I saw your name. I was super excited that you are announcing our event because I grew up in motorsports and drifting and all this stuff. So I say all that because here we are going in our 21st year. The enthusiasm, the excitement, the progression, you know, that motorsport.com uh, survey that came out, we're number four as mm -hmm. far as social. F1, NASCAR, WRC, FD. That's right, baby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with, with, that in my quiver and that in our quiver and formula drift being the premier drifting sanctioning body, you know, Shanahan coming over, um, the young Japanese cat, like excited about him to, to what he's going to do. It's just palpable. You could just feel <clears throat> the electricity, the energy, the excitement of companies, people, drivers, manufacturers embracing it. And like Jim Farley, you know, I'm doing an event for, for Ford, um, the week after the Mustang 60th anniversary. When you talk to Jim Farley, who's obviously the, the big cheese at Ford, he says, we're going back to Le Mans. We're, you know, we're doing, we're doing, you know, sports car racing. We're doing drifting. We're going off-roading. It wasn't like a, oh yeah. And we're doing drifting. Drifting right. is not a fad. Like it is part of the equation. When he put on a, when he put an electronic drift brake in a Ford Mustang, that says something. They call it the electronic drift brake. It's not mm -hmm. an electronic handbrake or something like that. No, it's called the drift brake. Like, come on, yeah, man. It's Right? It's it's part of the I mean it's it's part of the the greater culture now and I mean I've talked about it a ton where it's like okay what's it going to take to to get to this level and that level like you know it, it's it's easy to point to like definitive moments but I feel like it's just been this creep into the total you know almost zeitgeist of yeah. of the world even to the point where you know like I have family members who have no idea uh, about drifting <laughs> but now they're starting to like understand and hear things like oh I heard about this thing going on or that thing going on or like who's this Vaughn guy doing stuff with Ford and I'm like okay cool like great aunt Betsy like I you know who Vaughn Gittin Jr is now like that's how this that's how we get there it's You it's have an aunt Betsy things, by the way so. that's amazing I do have an aunt Betsy yeah yeah <laughs> Sorry, I just I thought you just no. pulled up Aunt Betsy, but Aunt no, Betsy's, no, no, Aunt Betsy's yeah. a fan. Aunt Betsy's Aunt a Betsy fan. Aunt Betsy is slowly becoming a fan. Yeah, yeah. I see her. You know, Thanksgiving that kind of thing. She's like, "How's that car sliding thing going?" And now it's like slowly getting into drifting. And yeah, it's 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 good. I mean, it's 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 incredible that we're getting to that point where we're part of the you know part of the big picture of motorsports, where it's not like this subculture small thing. It's like no, this is what's going on. And there's going to be these small moments where you know things start appearing more on ESPN or they, you know, start coming up in general news and that's how it's going to, um, you know, infiltrate the the homes of the the masses, if you will. Yeah. And I, you know, I work with Nitro but, Cross, which is part of the UFC family, Nitro, Nitro, you know, Nitro Circus, Street League Skateboarding, Power Slap. If you could slap the shit out of somebody else right. and people watch it, <laughs> it's amazing. So we're, you know, we're, we're the power slap of motorsports. I'll, I'll take that. I'll t I'm joking. We are, yeah. not, we are, we are refined. <laughs> we are refined. We, we're, we're, I met some of those dudes and they like, they're insane. I, I could not do that. I Is fought that twice. I fought so twice. So like, like Jacob, do you, have you ever fought? Did you fight growing up? A little bit in college. I thought I was bigger than I was. I'm not very good at fighting. I'm really good at taking punches, but that's it. Like not. You have a punchable it. face. So you got yeah, that going 100%. for you. Yeah. Blammo. Big target right here. Anyway, yeah. joking. <laughs> Catalina wine mixer. Um, so <laughs> um, giving you, you your flowers. Great compliment to, I'm giving you compliments about the compliment that 
outer zone has created this this dialogue, um, giving people their personalities, giving the stories. You do such a good job. Um, BTW referencing Nardwar, obviously, do 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 do, like because the people want to know. Because yeah. you're Jacob Gettins. Like, <laughs> I've been watching Ardwar forever. Like, when Dude, you were in Incredible. Diapers. Again, I, incredible. I look at this. This is, you know what this is? This is equity, bro. I, my, my son <laughs> driving to, Long, actually, Long Beach last year. We're driving. Yeah. We're going in the morning, you know, because he's, he's going to work for Fun Haver this weekend. He's not doing stuff with Rockstar at Long Beach. But he dri- he's like, you look like Neapolitan ice cream. So you got a little, oh. stra- a little strawberry, a little vanilla, a little chocolate. So I just got all the colors of the rainbow, dude. Um, nice. No, but that's you, good. I'm, you do, I'm glad you do a some great job of, of divulging, um, dissecting, just, you know, you do a great job from a production standpoint, from being inquisitive and giving the people because the people want to know and, yeah. and, and you do a good job, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's, uh, it's good. I, I mean, my, my biggest goal at the show is just to try and make every episode better than the last one, whether it's what I'm doing, production's doing or yep. questions, guests, whatever. So yeah, I, I I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to seeing what else. There's a, a couple of couple of neat changes coming up this year. So yeah, um, yeah, a couple of different versions of, of how the show's going to be, and that's oh, yeah? what I'm excited for. What so. you, what, what, yeah, mean, doing so. Here we are. Uh, the, here we are on the yeah. preseason, like preseason hyper reel, right? Like we're, I want to break yeah. down the drivers. We'll talk about that. Um, you're the host, but obviously we are we are co-hosting the 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 show. You know, we're the tour guides mm-hmm. on the Jungle Cruise. Um, what uh, can you tease anything? Uh. Yeah, I, I, the the big one's going to be like larger history episodes where like like full deep dives into different topics. So one of the ones I'm tackling right now is like the history of all of the tires in FD. Oh, which, wow. Like from from like a top level, you're like, oh, okay. Like it's going to be like, you know, 15 brands or something. And it's like my list, is there's a lot of brands that came and went that were like one driver for one season. And I'm mm-hmm. like, if I'm doing this, I want front to back. So I'm about a month into that. Um, trying to get information. And the, and the hard part is like, it doesn't exist. There's no one spot where all this mm. info lives. So I'm bugging Kevin, I'm bugging Ryan. I'm going back to watch old videos. Um, I'm going to stop in at the office uh, before Long Beach to like get into archives. I've still got to bug you about a bunch of stuff. Like it's it's been a month's worth of work and it's going to be like, you know, an hour and a half show. So we'll, we'll see. And then... Um, we're going to be interviewing drivers kind of right after the podium, similar to kind of what you've got, but then more of a sit down with them, you know, soaked in champagne and like, okay, let's, let's run through the weekend guys. Wow. Like it's fresh in your head. Like, give me the story of how you guys all got there. And, and I think having three drivers in a more relaxed situation, a couple of drinks of champagne in them, that's just, it's going to be chaos. So I'm, I'm excited for that. Uh, Cause it'll be raw. It'll be right in the moment. Yeah. And like you say, a reeking of champagne. Uh, KB yeah. <laughs> Day was just the other day. Uh, shout out to Ken Block. One of the most Ken Block yeah. things. Um, I think it was at X Game or no, Red Bull Global Rally Cross or something. He's like, Ken says to me, I'm about to give out trophies. He says, Oh, I hate the smell of champagne. That's like, <laughs> like, I was like, that is such a Ken. I said it to his face. Like, that is ridiculous. I was like, Oh, yeah. these gold medals are so heavy. It just really weighs down my neck. Thanks, Michael Phelps. We get it. Okay. Yeah. Weird, yeah. weird flex. You know, yeah, the like, steps sorry. of the podium are getting a little too tall. Like it's, yeah. <laughs> what, a, what an incredible problem to have, right? Man, winning yeah. is so tiring. Like, more <laughs> more Americans have been on the moon that have won points in WRC. Shout out KB. So, huh. FYI, fun fact. Did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's, wow. What a stat. Right. But, um, looking at this driver's list, like I said, Vaughn yeah, Jr. gave that <clears throat> testimonial, you know, Rudy Hansen making the jump, Derek Madison, you know, going for it, but he's not, God damn it. Why didn't he, in, on the podcast you had him? He's like, Oh, the car is not together. I'm like, God damn it, Derek. Like do work you, on it. Do you see, did yeah. you see what like in testing he seized up a, I mean, one, his new pro car is not ready Two, his backup car seized a, a supercharger, borrowed one yeah. from a buddy, then put a transmission in his truck, loads it. And I, I mean, he's on his way. Like D man. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, props get, get, get props for pushing through. Referencing like, Step Brothers once again. Through. This this needed to happen, <laughs> and it just starts spanking him. Gosh damn it, Derek! Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, uh, and then he's got he's got Rad Dan to start too. Like that's his first battle. Like Rad Dan's coming back, and it's like, good luck, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, and and, and you know, Rad Dan I called uh, Mister Mister Dan. His first name's Rad. Um, Mister Dan. I almost called Mister Dan. Um, his. Uh, his car got better. You know, he took that hiatus and, mm-hmm. and he said it. He says, look, this isn't goodbye. It's see you later. Need to figure everything out, which is a smart approach. Cause I've, 
I've read this book. That like, you know, you mm-hmm. get these international drivers who are like, I'll see you in Irwindale. I'm like, have you ever been, or no, I'll see you in Long Beach. I'm like, have you ever been to Long Beach? Have you been yeah. and seen a Formula Drift round? No. I said, sorry. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's, there's so much just even internal infrastructure, like knowing how to like keep Andy Luck happy is like lesson one. Like you need to learn that. Screw Andy. And that's, it's, it, don't, <laughs> don't worry about Andy. If Andy's your biggest concern, you got bigger fish to fry, my friend. I know, I know. We're within an hour. Andy only only watches the show for the first hour and then leaves. So he'll oh, hear yeah, this that part. makes sense. So screw Andy. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Old Dirty Panda, dude, the dirtiest. The dirtiest, uh, the oldest panda ever. ODP. I, that's... That's uh, that's going to be a good episode, and I finally get him on. I mean, the the amount of the amount of digging I'm going to do on that episode will be great. Uh, I'm going to do it near the end of the year, so I don't have to you know stay around him for the whole season. <laughs> yeah, he smells <laughs> terrible. Uh, hey, hand tattoo is that the career ender? Is that you? Just yeah, that's yeah, like tra- uh, the, Travis the job Barker stopper. getting the neck tattoo. Job stopper. <sighs> yeah, the job stopper. A buddy of mine called that. Uh, it was long story. Supposed to we were supposed to sit and do basically a full sleeve in a sitting, and. Uh, my wife was uh, the same artist the day before and her tattoo took significantly longer. So I was like, okay, he's like, what part of this do you want to do? I'm like, look, man, I've been wanting a hand tattoo since I was like 12 years old. Let's just do it. So I'm hoping to, to get the rest wrapped up before Atlanta. Okay. But yeah, dude, I've wanted, wanted a hand tattoo for a long time. Oh, big, big step, big commitment. That is, that is. Um, I, know, I, I, know. I, I, I I actually had this conversation with this girl. She had dope like dots and dashes and really cool, yeah. you know, very, very timely. And I was like, damn, that's, that's pretty gangster. She said, like, yeah. And I want it too, but I do a lot of stuff with Snap-on tools. So I hold uh, the tool. Fair. So as, as hardcore as Snap-on is, 100-year-old tool company, they, uh, mm-hmm. they, they, I don't know There's if they really be keen on the hand tats, uh, the zappers. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, for what it is you're doing, I, I guess same thing with like neck, right? Like you, yeah. you still want, you still need to be able to like, if you have to go full corporate fortune 500 boardroom, like you can, you can do that. Like uh, yeah. Andrew Huberman, kind of like the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. You'd have no idea this dude's covered in tattoos. Cause you just, you know, wears a dress shirt everywhere. Yep. All right. Yeah. What a, I, I like mean, it. you're the host, but our intention here, I uh, said, dude, I'd love, I'd love to do an episode. Let's go preseason hype. It's clean slate. It's like going to a baseball game and everybody's, ah, everybody's a winner. You win before you show up. That's yeah. what I always say. So everybody is a winner. Yes. I, except, you know, after the first round and then we've got only one winner and everybody else is, is pissed off. So and hey, let's start with the racing, most right? unforgiving track. Let's just go right oh, into the, the widow, the widow maker. <laughs> like, let's just go. Your car's dope. It's fine. Your wall, your yeah. wall says, hold my beer and just smash goes the dynamite. Like, how many? d How many? Fresh Ryan builds? Turk. Yeah. Uh, uh. Ryan uh, uh, Hurst, Hurst did the same oh, thing, yeah. like demoed a brand new car. The pride uh, of Paducah, just throw some dirt on it. Throw some dirt on it, we're good. Get back in the ring, kiddo. Yeah, yeah. Talk about like, okay, hey, welcome to FD. You've, you're super rusty, brand new build. You've barely shaken it down. We're, we're putting you in the pinball machine. That's it. No run out, nothing. Crazy blind initiation. You know, you literally are touching walls on basically every corner. Have fun, guys. Like, there you go. And the asphalt. I love oh. it. Uh, BTW, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Andy, for the the track is going to change. They scrubbed it like they did Irwindale last year. They pulled up the oh, rubber. No yeah, you didn't see they scraped the rubber, dude. No. So that's they, interesting. They, they, yeah, like like Irwindale. They, so you know, media day Tuesday, game day Friday, Saturday. Obviously, mm-hmm. you know, I, and you you brought it up. You're like, oh, he's going against Rad Dan. I love that you can train mentally. And kind of look at footage. You know, this is this yeah. is a complete game changer from the psyche, the game of inches. I'm talking about between your ears, not of your car on the wall. It is mm. a head game, dog. Like it's 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 you know. Speaking of you know, if it's MMA or UFC or whatever, but that that meetup, you know, doing mm. this, that's going digital for the fans to see and like the the shit talking. I'm here for it. Oh, oh where's the popcorn? It's, oh, it's. It's so, it's so good. I mean, on the, on the digital front, like it gives the driver such an opportunity to like, to have some fun with it, right? Like yeah. making videos back and forth, posting back and forth. Like everybody loves each other at the end of the day, but it do gives they? you the opportunity to have that fun. I, they do until the door closes. Oh, yeah. Everybody's friends until the visor goes down. And then it's like, no, it doesn't Jesse matter. hates right? Vaughn. I'm joking. I'm totally <laughs> joking. <laughs> Why do you think he left? He just couldn't stand him anymore. He's like, yeah, no, Vaughn. no. <laughs> Um, I'm 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 no, here, I, dude. Uh, what's uh, yeah. what did my buddy called me the the Mean Gene Okerlund of drifting of motorsports? <laughs> so like, do you know who Mean Gene is? 
He was yeah, the, the, WWE. the the WWF. Uh, WWF. Yeah. I'm that old. WWF. Right. Yes. Daddy. Yes. I'm. Uh, oh. I'm gonna go. I'm going for uh, more of like a Bob Cole uh, from the Leafs broadcast. That's if, okay. if there's a broadcast I'm going for. I'll, I'll throw you some clips. You'll be like, okay, now this makes sense. Okay. So my, right. my my old man did that. He saw he saw uh, me doing a couple of runs. He's like he's like I can tell you watch Bob Cole most of your life. And I was like, that's okay. cool. And it, so um, yeah, I, yeah. Again, I don't know. Lo- go ahead. Oh, go, I was gonna say my my thought is I got the drivers in basically the order that. You know, we've got it up on the FD website. If people want to follow along at home, I've got some info in here that's obviously public, some stuff that's, yep. you know, I know now at the time of recording that will be released uh, by the time this all goes live. But uh, yeah, I mean, we can start Do off with, with Adam LZ. Um, I mean, out of RTR this season, running the BMW, super interesting. Um, you know, people talked for a very long time about him doing that, finally doing it. Um, two rounds, that's it. So... Kind of interesting. Um, I like Long it. The, car, the car aesthetically looks dope. It's back to kind of his roots. I think the BMW is just such a such a diverse chassis now. The the, mm-hmm. the parts that complement it from, you know, th- that's, you know, the Circle of Drift podcast. I love, he's doing a really good job. I like his inquisitiveness. Kind of on the same level mm-hmm. as yourself. Um, yeah. I can't remember who it was. They were talking about like, dude, to build a drift car now compared to, oh, it was um, Lone Star Drift. And uh, Losi. Losi says, oh, dude, yep. 04, it was, you couldn't build a car. Now it's like, what do you want? How much angle yeah. do you want? What? How do you dial yeah. it in? Like, it's crazy. It's so the there. BMW is, I mean, I, I remember seeing the BMW grow when I, you know, I've, I've announced all Jim Connor grid events. When I went over to Santa Pod Raceway and they announced it in the UK, these E30s, E30 wagons, E36s, they were developing them. They're pushing the engine way back so they could get it to rotate. You know, Jim Connor grid's about, you know, bollards and all that. Um, that BMW chassis now is, it's it's really hard to beat, man. I mean, we've seen it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Trailing arm design, good balance. Like, like you said, it's, it, you want to build that car. It's just a matter of how much money do you have? Yeah. That's it. You can build it for, you know, a thousand dollars. You can build it for a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just, just go shopping, pick up the catalog, yeah. pick some parts. So yeah. Well, Adam, um, yeah. Adam's good. got a great draw. He's obviously, he brings in a, 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 ravenous, ravenous, let's call it what is fan base. Yeah. When's Adam going? When's Adam going? It's like, Adam going? Yeah. oh gosh, dude, like it's a joke. Like, <laughs> I don't know how, you know, behind the scenes, I see the, I'm like, holy, shut up. Like, God, yeah. I love Adam. Like, I, I love what he's done. You know, I know you're working with um, the LZ World Tour. Um, you, you got to call that action out there in the middle of nowhere, Bakersfield. Which, yeah, middle you know, of nowhere. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like, dude, it's like a little Irwindale though. The track, like, it's, I, it was one of those we got there and I was like, oh, okay. And then, you know, there's some connections there. I was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. So, yeah. So it's a neat track. It's a neat track. I'm just I'm middle of freaking to, nowhere, to, dude. Like, I mean, no, the no, no disrespect yeah. to, to ba- you know, it's one of those signs where like you go past an apartment complex, like if you lived here, you'd be home. I don't want to live there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want to go home, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those like, Hey, last gas station for the next hour kind of places. So yeah, it's, yeah, Adam, uh, Adam, oh. is he excited? What, what rounds is he doing? Uh, just, uh, Long Beach and Orlando. That's it. So car was already on the West coast, drop it off Long Beach. And then Orlando is obviously close. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does Atlanta too. It caught fire. Are are we okay? Fixed. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was all good. I, I was joking. Like it it almost looked a little staged when it happened. I was like, Whoa, this is a little convenient, but no, just, I just, I, I believe it was just hot rubber that hit the exhaust and, you know, wheel wells full of full of chunks of rubber and it, it lit up. So Forsberg has yeah, always done that. He's the guy. Uh, but Dude. somebody was saying there was like some sort of gas, like uh, like uh, the fumes. Vent tube combusted. off the fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Vent tube off the fuel. And then the tires, uh, I think it was in Orlando. They got super hot going through uh, basically the second outside zone that popped off. But yeah, they, they run a vent tube out of the out of the gas tank and it's got like kind of loops in it. So if it sloshes or if it gets hot, it'll vent off. And then as soon as it hits the ignition point, right, it kicks off. Looks sick. I mean, hey, for the show, it looks amazing. Oh, but uh, again, back to know, WWF. The WWF. By the way, you said the, yeah. the outer zone, which which is so ironic <laughs> and so coincidental that the Canadian names it the outer zone. <laughs> is it the otter zone? <laughs> Exclu- it's exclusively otter otters. Zone. Which uh, I'm, I'm I'm considered a bear, by the way. And if you had a beard, oh. you would be an otter. And I know you've lost oh, weight over it, the years, but if you had a beard, you'd be considered an otter. 
Interesting. I just shaved it off the other day, so uh, you maybe we'll, maybe we'll see We could have been that. the otter zone, and it's, and it's hosted zone. by one Jacob Gettins, which, do you know that term? The Canadian. So, like, I'm considered a bear in the in, oh, in, the, I, oh, in yeah. the gay I world. I got the reference. Okay. Yes. I've never yeah. felt more attractive in my life when I landed in Florida, or Orlando one time. I'm pulling there for FD, and I'm pulling my luggage along, leaving, and there's a group of, of bears. It was Pride Week, and mm. these dudes, it was like... Oh yeah, these dudes all their heads <laughs> turned and looked at me. I was like, oh, one of us, I, one I, of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I drink for free at gay bars, dude. They they, they love me. Uh, you know, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm not gay. Say, I'm happily I mean, married. But again, yeah, it, I think you bring the beer back, and you know, there's two bears, one cave. I think it's the beer, the, the bear, and the otter zone. That's that's what it is. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me until St. Louis before you can even see the beard. So it'll it'll be a little bit. You have like Maybe by noodle. Irwindale. You have like oh, an Andy dude, Lux beard. That's what you and Andy have it, in common. It Minimal just doesn't facial happen. Hair. Yeah. No, I try. It's not gonna happen. I tried so uh, hard. Yeah. At, uh, Lincoln <laughs> Park. And, good, good call. And I'll only get so far, but it won't matter. In the end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> no. No. It doesn't. <laughs> Uh, all right, beard. one driver in, Adam LZ. Next uh, driver, Alec Robbins. Alec Robbins, yeah. Uh, battling Kazuya first. I'm excited for that battle. Looks like new car getting built out. Um, still sticking in the Z, sticking with Kenda. Not a lot of changes. Uh, it looks like he's behind, but hey, everybody, it seems like, is behind. There's a couple of drivers that more or less have their builds together, but uh, it's tough, man. I mean, he's running a full-time shop as well, family guy. It's it's tough to to do that. He started the car early. Like yeah. I was seeing photos of that before the year was up, and then you know, happens quick. Long Beach is here before you know it. Yeah, and I, I love the progression of his driving. He's you know he qualified number one was a couple of years ago in St. Louis. Um, the progression just you know we has teamed up with um, who was it in the Mustang? Um, oh, space on his name right now. Uh, North Carolina kid, great kid. But he just had this like really ugly stabbing. Like mm. his his driving style was really stabby, and now it's yeah. like he's he's smooth down. Woosa, calm down. Yeah. You know, let's let's bring out the iron. Let's smooth it out. Don't be so mm -hmm. abrasive. You know, and th there was the Daigo Saito era where that was, you know, it was that all was about proximity, 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 mm -hmm. and no angle. You know, we were like this. We need you like this. Yeah, Alex driving's progressed. I mean, I've been lucky enough to like kind of follow him all the way through from from Pro Two. And I, I will say the best he ever drives is when he's pissed off. You get, and he's so quiet and chill, but there's been a few occasions where he's been really, really mad. And that's when he's driven the best. Um, okay. Ironically, I think two of those occasions were in St. Louis, old layout, new layout. So um, yeah, I mean, maybe that's the trick. We just got to get him pissed off and make fun of him a little bit and, you know, throw some jokes out there and go. see how he drives. Bottomless yeah. fries, red robins, yum. <laughs> Sorry. Bottomless we're getting, we're getting, fries. we're getting him a deal. We're getting him an Alec red robins <laughs> deal. We we have to. It only makes sense. Um, Andy Hately up oh, next. Um, oh, probably one of the best Instagram follows. Love, oh, love, dude. Drift was and, and what and talk about progression. This was a kid in 04 and formula. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm really excitable. Am I yelling? No, nah, your levels okay. are good. We'll, we'll okay. Hey, that's that's up to the audio engineer to figure out. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay. <laughs> yeah, um, figured out. Um, Andy Hately. Here's a dude that was around day one. Took a hiatus. You know, he'll he'll tell you his dog Gonzo, which is probably more legendary mm -hmm. than him, the drift wizard. Um his his driving, you know, he built that E30, never worked out. Now this nah. E46 is so dialed. And when he won that first round at Prospect, was it two years ago? Right? Or was it yeah, two years so, ago? Yeah. Um just love what he's doing. He's having fun. You know, like you look at those cats, Jeff Jones, Kyle Mohan. Um, would love to see Kyle on the box, but Andy is a threat. Who's he, who's he going yeah. against out of the gate? Uh, uh, I've got to work on the pronunciation here, but uh, Hiroya Manoa. Oh, so, that's right. Um, Manoa. Yeah, who just qualified first in FD Japan last night too. Like, kid shredding. Yep. So, oh. here you go. I mean... And yeah. I did not. I did yeah. not get a chance to listen to your Shanahan, but I, I, I need a little. I need a little drop down <laughs> screen, you know, as so I can understand. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's. Uh, I'm curious how. I'm curious how his accent is going to change over the year. Uh, but uh, <laughs> if it if it thins out at all, kind of like James's did. James's was real, real thick when he started, and by the end of the year, it's like just a hint, just a taste yeah. of Irish. Well, yeah. I, I I can understand him, but you, it's it's more so that he's just so high up there you can't hear him. Uh, he's just up yeah. in the clouds. So 
You yeah. know, put some put some boosters on, maybe get closer to the to the actual sound. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get jumped for the conversation. So Andy Haley, super yeah. excited. Uh rookie. Um, Odie. I mean Odie. Odie. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh it's it doesn't look like any major changes. He hinted that there's some differences in the power delivery. Didn't talk about it. I'm really intrigued because I didn't see any ECU changes. There was like nothing that was publicly displayed about the power delivery change. So um Dude, I'm, as soon as we get to Long Beach, the first thing I'm going to do is go scour that car and see if I can figure out what it is. But uh, testing looked good. Just I, why, why screw with repeat. what works? Wash with yeah, repeat. Why screw with but what has works? has it worked? Like him and Amy and the Bach Chiefs and the Simon Olsen, you know, Ben, yeah. ben making the jump to the Ford Mustang, not doing the prospect. Maybe the focus... Is is this year because he's not spread yeah. so thin? You know, Bogovich was on the on his program before that. That that just thins you out. Yeah, two cars. Yeah. You know, you see RTR in their camp. I mean, they're they're the unit of measure as far as like mm -hmm. activation, sponsorship, and and you know we we'll get into that as far as Forsberg and Turk and all. every people that don't know drifting. I said, you know, so are they high? I said, tell me the driver. I'll tell you their setup. Sometimes it's yeah. a hired gun. Yeah. Sometimes you're doing your own thing. But Odie and Field Suspension, uh, I think, and him and Simon, if it, if right, I think that's the only two. He's not he's not campaigning that's in it. a prospect car. No, this could be no. his year. I mean, he's got you know Amy Box. She's an absolute weapon up in the up in the box, uh, unflappable. She's wildly educated, amazing. You know, female in motorsports. That's mm -hmm. that's. That's his best kept secret is Amy. Yeah. It's yeah. That's, a that's the secret too. That's yeah. If it, I mean, once you, once you know, it's like, oh, this is, you know, this is a huge portion of why he is so good is because of how good she is at her job. It um, is. Even just like, yeah, keeping everything together. You got like, this, babe. It's, you got this, yeah, babe. Yeah. Like Tamara I, Hall. I, dude, Come on, baby. I, you got this. I, I love, I love Tamara, but she is the loudest in the booth. It's okay. <laughs> oh, Tamara, yeah. if you're listening to this, I, I'm sorry, but you know. I'm not. Oh, yeah. I'm not making light. She, I'm, it's all love. She's got the energy, man. She's got the energy. But I mean, I've give heard me, Amy. Give me a T. Give me an H. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I, I've heard Amy. My like, pleasure, like Chick Fil A. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I keep bugging. I'm like, hey, listen, you got an in there, Taylor. Why is there not a big Chick Fil A like logo on the side of this car? So they're closed on Sundays. Soon. We don't race on Sunday. We don't it's race perfect. on Sunday. We're yeah. we're good. We're Golden yeah. Girls, dude. And Blanche Devereaux. And the amount of. Chick-fil-A you find in the pits at any given weekend is crazy. Here, so, fun fact, some, here, maybe look, that's look, why. Hold on, hold on. I, I got, I, hold on. Hold, hold. <laughs> oh, of course. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> Have to. We, we, we went to Chick-fil-A the other day and, I, and like, they're like, sauce packets. I'm like, screw it. I'm going to buy the whole bottle. Yeah, you know, so, travel bottle. I mean, just, why not just do a shot? Uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> dude, it was great. Oh, it's in, it's incredible! It's the problem. You put it, oh, you put it on a shoe, choice. right? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I completely regret that immediately. We're having fun, man. Uh, this is I'm this here is, for it. <laughs> this is these are the kind of moments where I'm just like, God damn it! I'm so blessed. I have a beautiful wife. How she married this big Deanderthal is beyond me. Um, did you see my new graphic, Deanderthal? Yeah, yeah do you like good. it? That yeah, I, and stickers coming out with that too. I, oh, I yeah. didn't Got, see. Oh, there's yeah, there's merch. I, I'm not just selling beanies. We're selling shirts. Of we're selling. We're you know we're selling stuff. No fun <laughs> fact about the Deanderthal and the graphic and why that came up was basically um. Say, I'll, I'll, okay, ready for this story? I'm, I, somebody I'm called down. me racist, and I, I want to know this kid who who reached out to me, and I, I I thank him for this. Okay, so Ryan Sage is announcing with me, and it was Kazuya Taguchi versus Kenshiro Gushi. Right, a okay. bit of a tongue twister. If you're, you know, yeah, and, and he's not doing the live call. He's kind of you're 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 filling his boots, and mm -hmm. and you're doing that because he recounts the run, right? Because I do the live call, and I'm hundred percent not the always correct. Yeah, like Black Panther, or, right? That works hundred percent of the time, ninety percent or whatever. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, you. Black yeah. Cat or whatever. Um, so Ryan goes Kazuya Taguchi versus Ken Shiroguchi, and he and he's like Kazuya Taguchi. He has like starter issues. Just could not. Just get tongue is like intertwined. Yeah. So I reference, that was like 32. Then going to the 16, I reference it and I go, oh, like, gushy, 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 gushy. Like making fun <laughs> of Ryan. Yeah. This kid interpreted it as me making light and making joke of their names. So uh, he filmed context, it yeah. and says like, whoa, Jared Deanna racist much. I was like, hey, uh, and this is during the event. I see it. I'm like, 
DM, we exchanged back and forth and said, hey man, like, I am not racist. Can you please, like, yeah. so, and, and what I did is I said, hey man, if you feel some sort of way, I'm very sorry and you are entitled to that. I'm no way racist. Mm-hmm. Can we please take that down? I'd really appreciate that. He says, yeah, yeah, no problem. I said, thank you. If you ever come to the States, I got your tickets, please. I'd love to meet you. And he's uh, this, he's an Asian, Asian young man in New Zealand. And I love Kiwis. Like I love New Zealand. I would move to mm-hmm. New Zealand yesterday. Um, going to Mad Mike Summer Bash, uh, coming up December. Mad Mike Summer Bash. Yes. Um, and I, I, and I said, hey man, if you feel some sort of way, I'm sorry. And you're entitled to that. He says, well, it's like me calling you Deanderthal. And I said, first <laughs> of like, all, Pardon? not even Matt. <laughs> Like I'm <laughs> owning that. So the graphic this year is Deanderthal, created by uh, my buddy Dave Ross, aka Persuay One, an amazing graph writer, um, artist. He did like the OG DC shoes logo, drawers, circa. Look up his okay. Persuay One, amazing artist. So um, it's mm. me with the T pick and golf and wrench, and has my look at the tattoos on it. Has my kids' names on the like. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love kiss. those. So I'm Deanderthal. Yeah. So Deanderthal. You know, just owning it. Like I'm just. Yeah. We're dying every day. We're thriving and we're dying every day. <laughs> it fits. It's it fits. I love it. No, that's great. <laughs> it's again, Sorry. Oh, we're doing now, story time. I get it. No, no, it's good. <laughs> hey, hey. I mean, let's just listing off drivers one after another would be boring. It's the interjections that's the entertainment, right? Ben Hobson. How about this guy? Like, ben Hobson. what a ledge. What a ledge. Bro. Just th- th- this kid, you know. Uh, we kick off, It's what's cool about it is I get to go to St. Louis Auto Show with Vaughn for, we've doing it 10 plus years. We've seen um, Stevion, yeah. this young man who w- was like a young man on the streets of St. Louis coming to every demo. Now he he helps out Vaughn and his team. Beautiful human being. He's just such a lovable cat. Ben, um, ben, myself, Travis Reeder gets hired for those events because um, he's kind of free agent, right? He's not married to any yeah. manufacturer. Um, and Ben, I was like, dude, you're going to have a hell of a time. What a great fit. He's like, he's like a new Chelsea. Like has mm. s- not, I don't want to say same energy, comparable energy in meaning that young, fiery, is having fun. And this is what I say to every driver. I said this to little text, you know, Nate Hamilton. I said, you mm-hmm. win before you show up. Okay, say you win an event. Then what? Do you think sponsors are just going to clamor towards you? No. You win a championship. Some people mm. lose sponsorships after they win a championship. So you have yeah. to win before you show up. And that's Ben won before he shows up. He's got a great dad. Mm-hmm. His dad loves him. They're, you know, his dad owns a Ford dealership. What a great tie-in. Like all this Georgia boy. He's got a <clears throat> great girlfriend. His support system, his ecosystem is beautiful. And now he strengthens it with the weight of a two-time Formula Drift champion, the Carroll Shelby of our generation, Von Gittin Jr. Boom. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a perfect fit. Thank you. It, when... When Chelsea announced it, and, and I mean, you know, everybody probably is aware, but like you and I and, and like the, the inner group of people, we hear a lot of things well before they ever become public. So even when Chelsea was kind of just like, hey, I'm, this is what I'm thinking, Ben immediately was the first person that came to mind because I'm like, it's, it's, it's the perfect fit. And yeah. the, I think that the, the match when we talk about like how, how similar they are, the kind of kooky, like strange, like let's go do weird shit energy is very similar, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that that level is very similar. And then that competitive, like all I want to do is win is there as well. And they're two very different people in a lot yes. of ways, but those two things are super, super similar. And those are the two big things that you you kind of need on that team too. Oh, and then by the way, <clears throat> not only two-time Formula Drift champion, but your teammate is three-time Formula Drift champion, tall glass of water, James Dean, seven foot tall, right. mean machine. Like, yeah. what? Shit. That, I mean, yeah. who who's coming back with like a vengeance? Like uh, his his season new car, wasn't the new best car. season. Yeah. Do you think it was built to his liking? Like it's an S15 <laughs> with an RC car body of a Ford Mustang? Yeah. Duh. You and, know he was, yeah. dude. Oh, oh. Dude, he was making changes to those Mustangs like round one. He's like, hey, uh, this is great, but we're going to change power steering. We're going to change this. And now now he's finally in a seating position that makes sense for him. Like, it's... it's yeah, gonna, he made changes yeah. to well, his car in Irwindale. He got on its side. That was <laughs> sick, dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. I was with him at, in Irwindale and and you saw... Everybody saw the video. Him just, you know... Yeah. Because that's why he has those large seats. It has his name. And, and again... <laughs> Safety is number one priority. The seat just wasn't right. I'm glad he's okay. Mm-hmm. How he drove is unbelievable. He had a broken collarbone and he went yeah. through it. I was with him the, the the morning after, right? Or yeah, the morning after. 
And, or yeah, so he's in the pits. Yeah. He's with Becky. Vaughn hadn't showed up. And we're talking about, it. I said, dude, don't drive. He's like, I can't, you know, go so high. This is, and yeah. I was like, don't. And he, and he told, I think it was just us. And I said, dude, don't. He's like, yeah, I, I, I can't. Vaughn shows up. Vaughn's like, dude, it's on you. Vaughn says, it's completely on you. And, yeah. uh, and, he, and he's like, I'm going to do it. I'm like, God damn it. You said you weren't going to do it. <laughs> and he did it. And, and now it's like, that's folklore, dude. That's, that's Tiger Woods playing with a broken foot. You know, I mean, sorry, golf reference. I yeah. know you always do the hockey reference. No, no, so what, what is it? Like, you know, Wayne Gretzky bleeding out in the uh, ice. Look, Bob, at, look at the great one bleed. Look at, look at him bleed out. Sorry, Bobby, Springer's reference. Bobby Orr won a Stanley Cup on a broken ankle. Played like three games. There's been guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's it, it's legendary. I mean, that is that is a piece of history that I think we're going to reference back to for years, right? Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, Ben Hobson, sorry. perfect fit. Um, no, it's all good. Uh, Fede up front, that'll be interesting. Another driver that obviously took some time off as well. So uh, that'll be, I mean, it'll be interesting. Ben looked good in testing. But testing is great. Long Beach is 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 what the the ruler is. So yep, yep. The, the, yeah, like I said, see. the widowmaker, the gauntlet, the unforgiving yeah, exactly. track that is Long Beach. All right, B Sorensen. Um, yeah, I think he's due. Wash, rinse, repeat. Agreed. Amanda is blowing up the internet with that with the hair flips. I love Amanda. She always gets mad at me, so I'm just going to shout her out right now. Um, <laughs> see her on all the nitro races and and Brandon Brian's or excuse me, Brandon. Quiet little assassin, dude. He could, he yeah. could definitely, he could come up like a zit on your ass, you know, just really kind of ruin your day, you know, yeah. and, and, and just really shake things up. Uh, love, obviously, the United States Air Force, you know, supporting him and supporting Formula Drift. Shout out to U.S. Air Force for their support of the, of the series as well as of, uh, of Brandon and Amanda. What are your thoughts? Uh, the biggest thing that kind of came out is they're already developing next year's car. So they're developing that at the same time that they're driving this year. Uh, which one, you you have a full backup ready to go. So worst case scenario, that car gets totaled. You just jump in the next one. It's ready to go. Uh, the biggest thing that I see is they, they'll they use this year to test as much as they can and continue to develop that other car on the side or vice versa, test with that car and bring those upgrades, you know, similar to what happens in F1 and a lot of racing to the next race. So mm-hmm. that I think we're going to see some massive jumps round to round. If right. he makes a mistake, if there's something strange that happens with that car, sure as shit, the next round, that'll be solved and that car is going to be a hundred times better. So that's the one where I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm interested to see what happens round to round with him. All right, we'll see. Again, just a, a silent assassin lives in the yeah. shadows. Uh, a driver that's not in the shadows, Chris Forsberg, a day one one of the last yeah. surviving day one drivers, hasn't missed a round. Um, him and Ken Gushi, um, the last day one, you know, last Starfighters. Yeah, true um, OGs. True OGs, Chris Forsberg um, taking his car to get wrapped, all new Z. Yeah. Tran- trans issues always seems to be his issue. Uh, mm-hmm. But I-, I think the VR is proven. The chassis is yeah. like a 370Z. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. And, and I, I'll I tell you this. With the, with the, with, sorry, I cut you off. With the no, lack no, of please. qualifying, he mm-hmm. never qualifies well. And I, and I will say this. I do not envy the judges. Um, mm. It's very tough, but you judge Chris against Chris. Yes. And you just can't yes. escape that. There's you know? so, so you know what his ability is. And that's like that's the hard part. Is like you you understand that this is one of the greatest drivers of all time. Yes. So the standard that you have to hold him to subconsciously or consciously is this is one of the greatest drivers of all time. So yeah. I have to judge him this way. Who and, are we yeah, who are we, we missing to have everybody here? Like, uh, you know, I mean, we're getting Shanahan, we're getting James, you know, we have James. I'm saying the series, like best drivers of all time. I mean, Who, that, would you say Daigo? Currently, Who? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it, bringing back like Tanner Faust or, or, or even, I mean, Reese would be, would be Tanner's kind of interesting a walker to bring now. back. He can't even drive. He's just flying everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it. There's there's a couple guys over in Europe that'd be interesting. You know, Piotr Vincek to to bring over yeah. again would be incredible. Daigo for sure to bring back is like one of the greats. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of people that are developing in other countries that I'm I'm kind of keeping an eye on, but it's it's always tough because we always hold them to the standard of FD, and I think that's what's so interesting about seeing well, next driver Connor Shanahan coming over is. You know, the debate, the big debate right now is like Drift Masters versus FD, who's got the better drivers, right? We're, we're, we're going to find out. Yeah. Like that's, that's what's happening right now. We're taking the champion 
of Driftmasters. We're bringing him over to the U.S. and being like, here He's you committing go. Himself. So you and got. that was last minute. You know, I, I listened yeah. to, was it Ryan? No, Sage told me. Yeah, it was like yeah. literally last minute. He, he wasn't going to do it. And then literally the final hour. Yeah. Well, I think based on when this show comes out, we can we can talk about where he's driving. So he is, um, I mean, drum roll, please. Uh, he is <laughs> driving with Rome. So, uh, so they drove the Wise Fab event together. Um, Odie was there as well. So that was like, yep. you know, behind the scenes, if you were going to make a pick between the two, both of those drivers have incredible cars, good programs, ready to go. So it's between Odie and Rome. He goes with Rome. I don't know if there was deals on the table with Odie or Odie was just like, hey, sorry, we're good. Like, I got enough things to do. But in Rome's old E36, um, he's on Vitor tires. So, which we know from last year, those things Weapons. are sticky. He comes from a very, very sticky tire over in Europe. So it's a good translation. It's not a car he knows well. It's definitely not a power plant he knows well. So it's, it's a tough call. And he's got Dmitry Brutsky as his first battle. So one of the best drivers coming out of pro spec against calculated the, one of the best drivers. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting of all the battles coming up. This is, this is top three for me. Welcome to Formula I, I just need to know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're taking a multiple time champion from pro spec, bringing him up in a car. He's incredibly, you know, adapt to now. And you're coming over jet lag, full of in and out and driving a chassis. You don't know. With a with a power plant you've never driven before, so good luck, sir. You and, like digs? And, you like digs? Yeah, you like digs? <laughs> yeah, great. I just watched that movie uh, like two weeks ago. Are you watching um, the uh, yeah. the new Guy Ritchie series? What is it? The the gentleman or what's it called? You so I I'm not. I it's it's on my list yeah. to to it's watch with travel. Yeah, I I we watched uh, Jess and I watched um, the the movie, and mm. then I was like, hey, you need to go back and watch Snatch. Like, if you like Guy Ritchie. We're going to go back and watch Snatch. And now you can understand like how this dude throws back the same kind of jokes. Like there's always boxing. There's always the Irish. There's, it gets, it's, yeah. Love Guy Ritchie movies, but. Story time. (laughs) Um, Confession. You know, the new Roadhouse came out. Conor McGregor, Jake Gyllenhaal. I hadn't seen the original Roadhouse. And I watched it the other day. Okay. Damn, that movie's dope. Like I always knew about it, but I don't think I ever watched it. And what a ledge. Like, Wild movie. Dude. Great movie. Anyways. Great fight scenes. I haven't po- seen the new one yet. I'm interested it's, to compare okay. the two, though. It's all right. Yeah, the Post Malone cameo is like right out of the gate, and then it's, it's good. <laughs> I, I, I love Posty. Posty and I are going to crank BLs in, in Long Beach. I, Posty's listening to this, hopefully. And uh, yeah. Huh. No, I don't yeah. know. All right. I, don't know if he's, I, I was right. like, is this serious? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Uh, we covered him briefly. Rad Dan. Radical uh, Daniel. Radical Daniel. It took a year. Probably tough. Did some driving. Developed the car. Always has incredible liveries. Uh, Brene does a phenomenal job with their liveries. Uh, couple sponsor changes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just interested. Is there rust there? Is there no rust? Is he coming back with a vengeance? Like, headspace. He's had time to relax. I think it could go either way. I really do. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's, it, it's, it's just Dan's demeanor. Just really mellow. Yeah. Cool. Uh, like you said, good good aesthetics, putting the Supra in in just such a such a great light. Um, always mm-hmm. has like again, raised racing wheels. Like that's just I think of Dan, I think of the mullet, and just yeah. a good even cadence. But I, I I think it's like an Alec Robin situation. I'd love for him to maybe get pissed, to get a little yeah, little fire, a little fire, something. In just just and and maybe this is you know having something to prove pushes the passion and that's yeah. that's what we need out of him. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Pretty Stooky. Stooky. Uh, new car. Uh, what's that? New car. Uh, brand new build for him. So that's the part I'm interested in. Um, watch testing. Jumped on. Uh, they were live streaming some of the testing. It was in the comments watching that. Car looks incredible. Um, changed over a couple of things, but like same S15 base, but uh, Casey, you know, from MSpec, went like, okay, everything that was wrong with that chassis, we're fixing, and that's it. Like, that's that's it. what we're doing with this. So. Okay. Yeah, so um, very light, too. Like, mm. crazy light. Um, like, on the brink of being legal light. So, <laughs> And yeah. he's on Vitor. Yeah, and, he, and he's on one of the stickiest tires that we've got right now. Holy, so. like, a fly, like a fly on a fly trap. Just like that sticky... Yeah, oof. yeah. yeah. Oof, I, it'll be... It'll be interesting. Uh, I, I'm, Pack I'm your very shit up. curious. I'm joking. Yeah. 
Fun fact, Sorry. I did a... No, no. I did a, an interview with him after that happened that we never released. And and perfectly, I, I wanted... I said to him, the only way I would release it is if Chelsea also jumped on the show and had his chance to have a one-on-one. I spoke with Chelsea. You know, he was just kind of like, hey, man, I'm, it's over. It's over. Yeah. It happened. There's no need to rehash it. So that's uh, that's something in the that that'll live in the archives that yeah. maybe will never be released. So, yeah. but uh, I mean, look, Diddy's yeah, out. Happens. You know what I mean? Like Diddy, Diddy's getting <laughs> caught. So <laughs> take that, take that, take that. Sorry, too soon. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Next um, subject. Oh, got Dean hot all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. Uh, all Dean right, Carney. Stuky, but, Dean Carney. <clears throat> Carney. He's you know just a bit of bad luck, but. Still such a freaking great attitude, dude. Yeah. Such a great yeah. attitude. I, I love where Dean's at. He's, uh, you know, again, hosting, he's, he's debuting something, a new, new extension of hyper. When this, when this comes out, it'll be known. Um, mm-hmm. he's doing some stuff with hyper more, not just NFTs, yeah. which, you know, they still haven't paid off. Um, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> they paid um, off for somebody. Cause if you see that garage, somebody, somebody's made some money. So I, yeah. it's good. Somebody's hey. made some money. I'm still waiting for uh, my uh, board ape to to pay off. <laughs> Y'all one kicking around? No, God no, <laughs> God no. Uh, uh, big news there. Uh, big news in general. Kumo Tire. Yeah, uh, ton of rumors last year about them coming in. Uh, some strange sizes. Uh, it kind of uh, the last like big news I heard out of Kumo, in all honesty, was in Seattle, and then kind of people stopped talking about it. And then even in the off season, I was trying to dig for this info. Nobody said anything. I saw Dean at, you know, at the LZ thing. He didn't say shit to me. Most of these guys are pretty good at like, hey, just giving you a heads up. Like, here's some things going on. Dean didn't say anything. Tight lipped. And then boom, Kumo tire. I'm like, okay. That's good. So, and there's a provision in the rule book for a very, very wide tire for a very, very heavy car. So uh, 3,300 pounds and up. Yeah. So we could see some, some real big boys coming out. Some like 315s or something. Like what? Like that's that. that. <clears throat> Wow. All right. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Okay. Like what? So, what? Like what size are you thinking? I, I, I saw, uh, it was a 355 millimeter is what had come out. So what that comes into in a ratio, I'm not a hundred percent, but it was sorry. listed in millimeters. So I'm like, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yay. But <laughs> it was, pr- it was under the revision of 3,300 pounds. So into a fairly big chassis that's, that's, and this is like the juxtaposition. Does Dean add more weight go into a really, really heavy car. And then in the, the juxtaposition to that is going to be a lighter car, what you see with like Stuky. Yeah. Um, but he's got Robert Thorne first round. Interesting to see. Um, well, obviously, we'll get into to Robert's stuff. But uh, yeah, just just interested. I still still want to see Dean outside of the Viper. Love the Viper. I know he's got talent. I just, we just need to see it in a different chassis. That's it. Yeah, he's just so committed to that chassis. You know, like he's just yeah. so in it and... You know, he went supercharger to turbo, back to supercharger. You know, he, he's got the power, but like you said, the weight, mm-hmm. the power to weight ratio and finding that right tire, it, it, it just, the math hasn't perfectly lined up for him. But mm-hmm. as far as attitude and uh, and just overall, good dude. Like we've- Yeah, great dude. Se- Seattle, a couple, of, like three years, I think during COVID years, we stayed up one night and just freaking drank and party and just him and I. <laughs> And we just got to know each nice. other a little bit more, and and yeah, he he has a term of endearment, which again we're we're cussing on this, but I I I won't even say it. There's like a level. Just, there's a level. Yeah. There's a level. <laughs> yeah. There's a level. Yeah. This isn't. This is uh, you know. This is free. So. Um. <laughs> all right. So. Uh. We talked about him. D Mads. Yeah. Love him. Like you said, just. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Exactly. Uh. Diego Higa. So, uh, obviously working with JDM Supreme Mm -hmm. was interesting. Speaking of Kumo, I did see Kumo tires in a testing video, but the the information I'm getting is that he's on GT could be old information. I have no idea. I, he wasn't part of the official Kumo body kit. That's, that's, that's what I, that's what I got, you know, shout out TJ. Uh, And, uh, Ryan literal first round. So I, good pairing could be a good battle. Very, very interested to see how that one plays out. Not a, not a lot of big news coming out of there. That's all. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. And, and Diego has, again, another ravenous uh, Brazil drift fans. Shout out to Brazil. Yeah. Like, uh, they they are very, for, very excited. For anybody who gets annoyed by that, I just say, step your game up. Like, that's it. Like, 
Just just show that, you know, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> gift. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah. Right there, right there, right yeah. there. There he is. He's gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we Brutsky, covered Dimitri Brutsky. We talked Brutsky. about him. What do you, yeah, what do you Vitor think? Vitor Tire. Uh, just on Vitor. So, or Vitor. I don't know. I, nobody's told Vitor. me how to pronounce it yet. Vitor. Vitor. All right. Cool. Like you're on I'll tour. take your lead on that one. We're on a on world tour. tour. Tribe, tribe called Vitor. Um, All right. Tribe called Vitor. So, like it. Saul Kenan Marshall talking about, he's doing some rad. Yo, he's working with this, like, when this comes out, the parade. When, when is this? When, this will come out Wednesday. Wednesday. This okay. will come out Wednesday. Cool. Yeah. So, Tuesday. Or no, the parade's Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Okay, so it's coming up. Did you say watch for the parade? Yeah. I'm going to be on my Super parade? 73. I'm going to ride my Are bike you? next to the cars. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to try to find a dumb animal. Seat. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you at the Pike Bar. <laughs> All right. Pike I think bar, I drink by then, so. It's the, be- it's the worst right. kept secret. I know. I know. Great bar, though. Great bar. It's the best, best bar in the world. The best yeah, bar I- in the world is the Pike Bar, Cherry and Forth. Tell, tell Chris, Reese, and Jerry. Tell them Jared sent you. They'll keep the light on for you. Love it. Love it. We I have had- a social distortion tattoo. So that's like- Oh, you're getting one? Deep you have there. one? No, I have one. Yeah. Yeah. I've got do? Tomorrow May Never Come tattooed back here. Yeah. Oh, word? Dude. Yeah. yeah okay. big, big, big social defense. Well, I had no Love idea. It. Have you met yeah, Chris? Yeah. Uh, very briefly. Okay. Very briefly. So I didn't fanboy. I was just kind of like, oh, I said, uh, you know, the quick little, like, I respect everything you've done for music, sir. And he's like, oh, thank you. And I'm like, and the food's great. <laughs> that was it. What'd you have? Uh, it was a sandwich. I had, yeah, what did I have? It was a sandwich of some kind. It was last year. Um, I had a couple of drinks in me. So yeah. not that it, not that it happens often, but I no, you you know, two drinks and that's it. That's my max. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll drink whatever you don't. Um, all right. Uh, amazing fish and chips and ceviche at, uh, at, at Pike bar, which is super random. All right. Uh, D Hughes. So dozer, uh, he is doing some cool activation. Um, stay tuned for that. Uh, at the parade. Okay. So you'll, you'll, Got it. so again, this comes out Wednesday. So yeah, watch it. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah, he's doing some, either. he's doing some cool stuff. I mean, he's built a bunch of cars. Like the dozer's Dude, having a hell of a time. <clears throat> what makes me mad at him though is he goes freaking riding dirt bikes with some amazing riders and he breaks his hand. Like, yeah. Stop doing like, he was, was he like paragliding something the other day too? Like, it just, bro, chill. Like, just, just chill. How about not? <laughs> Please. Like, how about not yeah. do that? And again, like yeah. when when Formula One got purchased by the American entity, they let him go ham. Uh, talking about yeah. sorry, F one drivers. They let him <clears throat> because when it was under your under Bernie Ecclestone, it was. You know, I always joke that Jim Lau, Bernie Ecclestone, a little more formal, <laughs> loves motorsports. Ryan Sage is Dana White. You know, so you, you meet somewhere in the middle, especially after that last episode, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Love I was it. like, too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's we'll, good. We'll leave that one I, alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Federico Sharifo, back. Fede. Fede. Italian Stallion. Fede Wap. Love it. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the car? Yeah. Ba- back, I, Dude, it looks, it looks basically the same. Yeah, Fiorella, back again. Same, sticking with Nexon. Uh, didn't see a ton of changes. He just, you know, excited to be back. And, I mean, dude's, dude's here for the show. Definitely here to compete. But uh, definitely here to, like, you know, put on a good show. I'm excited. I'm going to try. I mean, it's tough. I want to keep my diet going on all these trips, but also like, dude, if you've, have you ever stopped in for pasta there? No. Cause they've, they've got pasta almost every single day at that. What are you saying? That pa- trailer. Pasta? Pasta. Noodles. Pasta. pasta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do an American accent. Do it. Do I mean, we're both do, American. Where? You're, you're, where? Like, oh. Which, which part of America? Do California. Oh, Cal- California is just like really, really relaxed. <laughs> Everybody is so dumb. Everybody's just, everything holds on longer and it just takes forever to communicate and get like, the point across. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, I got, I, I got to rein, I got to rein in the likes. That's, uh, that's my, my crutch word. <laughs> it's, it's easy uh, to do. I mean, listen to Rob Deerdick. He, he like, mm. so like, like, just like, like, I'm like, God yeah. damn. But hey, if I, if I had Rob Deerdick money, I, I would, I, I, I would say like every single time. Dude, Rob, <laughs> I knew Rob when he, I've known Rob for years. Like I, I was the car guy to a bunch of skateboarders, like Tony Hawk, mm-hmm. Bucky Lassick, Rob Deerdick, name dropping here. But I worked at a shop called Group 5 Motorsports. I went to Tokyo Auto Salon in 99, bro. Damn. Like, yeah. Like when were you born? Damn. Uh, 90. So I was nine years old. <laughs> Like, I went to Tomei in 99. Went to Spoon. Like, like 
insane. Anyways, um, but I was the car guy to like, so Kane Gale, shout out Kane Gale, uh, uh, the pro skateboarder for Plan B, eventually went to City Star and Action. Um, that's how I met Ken was through him and yada, yada, yada. Okay. But Deirdick had a Porsche. I got him all tech art stuff. I drove his Porsche, hooked it up. He had what was called TF in San Diego and I'd go there and hang out. We'd drink beers and Damon Way and Ken, uh, d- gosh damn, Colin McKay. I mean, yeah. Anyways, Deirdick, I, I've Can seen that guy. McKay. I've seen that guy grow up. And he, and he's, ah. everything's an investment. Like I met drama before he was drama. I bought a couch mm. off Rob. He's like, you want this couch? Like I just bought it. Does it fit? So drama helped me load it in my truck when he lived in San Diego. Sorry. Main drop back. Like, no, no, just, it's all good. I, just fun shit. Forest Wang. Let's yeah. go to the forest. Let's get peace. If a tree falls in the forest, does it make a noise? Uh, I mean, that car definitely makes a lot of noise. Uh, a lot of incredible noises. Uh, Big changes there. Tires. I'm, what I'm tires get, is he on? I know he was a little disgruntled about that. I'm not going to get into the politics of that, but he is not on Kenda and he has swapped over to Vitor as well. So Ooh, that's a dangerous yeah. combo. That's a very dangerous combo. So interested to see how that plays out. That car or that those tires notoriously have a lot of side bite as well, which doesn't always play well with somebody who wants to throw a ton of angle. The upside is he might be able to throw all that angle and dig out of it. So yeah, it'll be it'll be really Ooh. really interesting. Uh, couple of upgrades, one. it seems. Uh, the, yeah, a couple upgrades to uh, just cooling. Really crazy intercooler you just put in there uh, with like like CNC end tanks and baffles in it. Uh, and then he's this got Ken that's, Dushi that's, as his first battle. That's just jewelry. Yeah. That's hood jewelry. Yeah, or trunk jewelry. Yeah, yeah it whatever. Yeah, it might have some Dude, performance, builds, but hey, at the end of the day, these builds are insane. It's getting wild. I'm it's talking about like Mazda yeah. three. It's insane that Mazda. Like, gosh. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Throwback, throwback. That was that was like the car that like I had to give up when I had kids. And now that I they're older, I'm like, I'm buying the car that I would have built if I never had kids. That's a, that's Aww. exactly what I did. Midlife Look what you made me do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said that to my 10-year-old. I'm like, okay, we're going to buy a car because you made me give up one 10 years ago. You had no idea you did it, but this is what we're doing now. So I live um, by watching yeah. you, all right? Um <laughs> I'm doing a, 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 my wife's yeah. got a brand new like BMW X6. My son's got a brand new Corolla. Freaking branch fell on it yesterday. God damn it. <clears throat> um, really? Yeah. <sighs> s- stupid. But anyways, it's not, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> but I'm doing a, I'm doing a, I call it the bro up glow up on my truck. I've drive a 2015 Toyota Chandra. Everybody's like, oh, you know, it's car nice. racing. You got a cool car. I'm like, <clears throat> I golf, I travel, I drink, I party. So I'm finally giving my truck a bro up glow up. Got advanced fiberglass fenders. King shocks nice. are in the, uh, on their way. 37s. Um, I, basically like duplicating Larry Chen's truck. Larry has a Tundra okay. as well. My truck's going to be yeah. sick, bro. And it's it's the bro up glow up. I live, you know, I live in Southern California. People know. I live in Riverside, California, which is like Meta Militia and Temecula and all, mm-hmm. like, all, the, all the bros are out here. So I'm a 909er, bro. I'm, I'm interested about the interior. Like what you would do interior wise. That's like. Uh, well, it's good. Mm-hmm. I bought the Platinum. And okay. uh, it so it's, has, it's has like well the, the tuck and roll. Like it's, it's, that's my Mexican side. It's got a little bit of cholo in there. So, uh, <laughs> I, you know, uh, but I'm like Taco Bell when it comes to Mexico. I'm just like, yeah, barely, <laughs> barely Mexican. I don't even know Spanish. Yeah. My mom in high school, she, they're like, okay, to graduate. By the way, I graduated class in 96 and a half. I had to go to summer school to get my diploma. <laughs> Okay, because uh, I failed classes. My mom's like, "Hey, I was like, hey, do I take Spanish or French?" She's like, "Take French. I lived in France, and I'll help you." Mm. Nope, not at all. No, who takes Got none. French in San Diego, California, Santiago, the whale's vagina? You Santiago. Know, so we agree to disagree. Um, yeah, play play the jazz flute. Um, yeah, I took French and failed. Whatever. Ah, so look, I know you're going to be using all of your money on tires for your amazing drifting career, just because you want to get on the show. I get it. Totally understand. I I mean, it's, Hey, look, if I wasn't hosting the show, I'd be doing my best to try and get on the show. Cause as I've said before, I'm not a, not an amazing driver. So I want to save you a bit of money. Shopfd.com. Use podcast 24 at checkout. Just the numbers. Don't have to spell it all out. It's all good. You know, I I, hate, look, I saw a report card from grade 10. I know spelling out 24 is not going to be easy. So saved you the time podcast two, four, at checkout, shopfd.com. Grab yourself some merch. Save yourself some money. All right. Moving say on. <laughs> say la vie. Qu'est-ce que c'est mon petit Oz- shoe? <laughs> Speaking of mon petit <laughs> shoe, Frederick Oswell, the Norwegian hammer. Uh, always like, oh, well, golly gee. I don't think yeah. so this year. I think it's like, 
you know, he's obviously a poster boy, the Norwegian hammer. He's, he's rock star. He's Toyota. He does a great job. He's, he's on the ice drifting yeah. a lot. Like, and I mean, to put it bluntly, he got outclassed by his countrymen last year. Like Simon Olsen. I know you work with Simon. Just tell me, show me <laughs> how the dog where they hurt you. No, 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 no. I'm just saying you look at the stats, like that, that's got to be a wake up call. Like that has to be a wake up call that like somebody that more or less followed in your shadow coming in and surpassing like that. If, if there's anything to get him motivated, that's going to be it. I didn't. And, and like car wise, I didn't see anything massive changes. Like there was nothing that I, I and I mean, I was, I was creeping Papadakis stuff to see if I could find anything. I guarantee there is changes. I, I promise that Steph has done something, just nothing public. So another car that I will be heavily trying to inspect as soon yeah. as I get to California. Well, Steph will <laughs> slap the shit out of you if you do. Oh, oh he'll Steph, yell I mean, at me 100%. <laughs> talk about the, the, the Grecian mad scientist. That, yeah. I've, I've known that dude forever. Like, I've known him longer than I knew my wife. Really? Like, yeah. Like, Stefan, just uh, dangerous. Just absolutely dangerous. I, I yeah. mean, I don't think Frederick's actually driving. I think Stefan actually has remote control and he drives the car for him. Mm. Just yeah, programs just gonna, it and he just like... Yeah. Does wheel <laughs> motions and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woke, I, bro. Yeah. Got that. No, Woke. I'm kidding. All seeing eye. Uh Freddie, yeah, like you said, I, I think he's 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 angry. He is Yeah. He's gotta step it up. I would be. Yeah. I would be. I mean, it's one of the rough, rougher seasons he's seen in his career. And that's yep. that's just all there is to it. So yeah, I would I would expect him to come out guns a blazing. Manoa, Red Bull, Japanese yeah. driver, qualifies one, FD Japan. Uh, you know, I was talking to my, my son, we were at spring break, and Parker's like, what do you think? What's this? What's that? And I was like, oh, man. Like, and, and it's it's good. I, I love that my son, both my kids, both, you know, 17 and 10-year-old, they're into cars now. Mm -hmm. um, but he was asking about Manoa, and I said, it's a, but it is a different, you know, I, I, I used different to go thing. to Japan and announce. FD Japan is very different. It's it's the same mm -hmm. rules, same application, but it's just a different vibe. Um, what are your thoughts, Manoa? Uh, yeah, I mean, outside of uh, uh, Daigo Saito, it's been a long time since we've seen a Japanese driver come over and just immediately dominate, right? Like, that's just kind of how it's been. Now, yeah. looking at, like, his driving career, it's, it's exploded very, very quickly. Like, going back... Um, you know, 2021, he was 14th in, in FDJ2. So mm -hmm. mid-pack, you know, second tier. After that, jumped up to pro, 16th there. So same thing, mid-pack in 2022. And then 2023, second overall. So like explosive in one season. And that's the only, and I, and I don't want to take anything away from him. That's the yeah. only part that I have some concerns about is like, you had one phenomenal season and then coming over. Now, very young, adapts incredibly quickly, uh, you know, won Suzuka last year, uh, third at Okayama. Like, he's he's got it. It's there. The building blocks are there. Yeah. Partnering with Jerry Yang, Kazuya Taguchi. Uh, Taguchi. See? There it is. <laughs> Kazuya Taguchi. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's in my head. See? Everybody, you know, and everybody, uh, get, everybody gives me flowers as far as announcing, but Kazuya uh, Taguchi versus Kenshiro Gushi. Go ahead and say yeah, that 10 dude. times. And you can't Taguchi even say Kazuya Taguchi. Taguchi. It's, I can't, yeah. It's, it's in my head now. Dude, the names, the names, like that's what keeps me up at night is the names. Um, you know what? That is it's, your, yeah. You're, you're, you're gonna fuck up. Like, let's just, let's oh, just call it what it is. And everybody's oh, Jared, oh. like, dude, Ryan has given me the, the most flowers other than saying it's fine, which I fucking hate. Fine is one of my, <laughs> it's my nemesis. I hate that. Like we used to do voiceover. To we would go and do voiceover in Portland. He's like, it's fine. I was like, nope, do it again. Do it again. Like, I'm not okay with fine. Fine is the worst. Like either say it's mm. good or it's bad. Fine. Okay. That's right here. So don't you mm. ever say good fine to, to me, Jacob. You're, I will. I will I rip will. that beanie off your dumb head. Do you get, <laughs> what's under the beanie? Who knows? Don't take I it don't off. I don't want to tell anybody. No, don't take it off. Head it's stitched tat. on here now. Head tat, yeah. dog. <laughs> head Can you tat. imagine if I was just bald, all head tats? Like that hipster tats, <laughs> that hipster one that dude that got like the Ray-Ban Wayfarers. You just need like yeah. a, like a line like it's that. Just, yeah, I pull it up and it's just it's just a beanie tattoo underneath it. That'd be or you're incredible. like Deadpool, like he's like, oh, I look like a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, that's all good. Uh, yeah, I I think Manoa is going to do well. I think it will take three to four rounds before he gets there. Yep. If there's any team for him to partner with, Jerry Yang Racing, that's it's the perfect pairing. Well, and it's, like it's, look at. 
Kazuya, yeah. you know, Taguchi and him will will vibe. Kazuya's his English yeah. is getting better. I love his energy. Oh, that's you know? great. Um, he's got he's he again St. Louis a couple years ago. Like that's yeah. where oh he's part of the conversation. And that was yeah. just such a confidence booster. And you see that with the drivers. It's like the the aha moment. You just see the bing, the 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 whites of their eyes, the 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 mm-hmm. the glow up. You know, just that. We saw that. So Kazuya could give him some great advice as far as one marketing, two you know driving prowess, execution. What the you know, and we haven't even, look. We're talking about drivers. We haven't even talked about mm-hmm. the judging situation. Yeah, I know. It's a whole whole other can of worms. That's a whole nother thing. Oh, yeah. look at this. Reese Marin. Yeah. What a polarizing character. I love Reese. Like, <laughs> but right? God damn it. He's just he's Bro's just opinionated. He is just it's gonna be that kind of party. I'm gonna stick my in the mashed potatoes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Beastie Boy Shadow. Yeah. Out. Yeah. <laughs> also, also shout out to the movie Waiting, which is arguably one of the best food services. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Opening a deep scene. Cut. Hey, do you like uh, I, I can't remember. Did you did you like or love or hate the bear? Dude, that that show gave me PTSD. Like this, the the one episode uh, in the second season, the family episode. I have a huge family, so told, like that, I, actually, I think you told me this, bro. And then the, in the first season, when they have like the one take in the kitchen where the chip machine's going off, like I used to have nightmares about that machine going off. I can hear it in my head. Like it's it is that anxiety that that builds is as close to a real kitchen as you will ever get. Without ever having to do it, it's it was incredible. I've heard but. that story. Chris Stewart from Grid Life told me he's like, yeah, I have friends that can't watch it, and he told me that. And also, I have a uh, my homegirl Liz Liz Breed um, Shankaney on Instagram. She's a golfer, um, played okay. collegiate golf. She was dating a dude that was working at a Michelin star restaurant. And um, what's the 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 young lady's name? She just won an award. She was the um, she was the chef. Um, anyways, the actress's name I can't remember her name, but she okay. actually. Uh, interned at his restaurant didn't know didn't know her at all mm. just was was shadowing him and, and the restaurant and all this stuff and then the show comes out he's like oh that was that chick she legit worked at like a michelin yeah. restaurant to understand so just there's the, the there's bears. so many little things like everybody talks about the the cup like the having a, a, a pint like oh, okay yeah. so they're drinking oh, in yeah. the back you, you did talk about this the yeah the, yeah, the, the the deli cup. Um, yep. But there's like other little things that like you would only know working, you know, working in a restaurant. They talk about like corner behind, like those are the terminology yep. used when you're walking around or coming around a corner. But even even the touch. So like when you do that, if you have a free hand, you you touch that person so they know the exact moment because when you when you let go, they need to turn around and do something. So like those small things. Are, if, anyways, incredible yeah, no. show. Yeah, the yeah. Ba- the bear. Yeah. Uh, top top three shows. Uh, the bear. Ted Lasso and uh, the League. Have you ever watched the League? No, I haven't watched the League. I've watched a uh, little bit of Ted Lasso. Oh, so. Ted Lasso. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's it's the show we we needed during COVID. So, anyways, but the League, amazing. It's 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 about <laughs> fantasy football, but not really. It's about how we tolerate our friends, quote unquote friends. Mm, um, yeah, it's amazing. I should it's, watch that. It's, oh, it's in it's. Uh, it, yeah, the League. Sorry. All right. Anyways, it's on the list. Uh, okay. James Dean. James duh. Dean. Going for blood, built a new car, probably under, like, has his fingerprint all over that thing. But mm-hmm. with RTR camp being just the powerhouse that they are, um, all pun intended. And mm-hmm. it's, he. Yeah. It's, it's going to be scary. It, it's, that's it. It's just, it's going to be a scary yeah. season for everybody on that yeah. grid with, with that. Like, literally, literally a broken collarbone can't slow this guy down. Like, <laughs> what, what do you do? <laughs> What do you do to beat James Dean? So, yeah, I, they they fought. They were fighting some power steering issues in testing. Uh, it was on a couple of different vlogs. Will they get that sorted? More, I guarantee it's already sorted. By the time that video even came out, it was it was sorted. So, yeah, uh, they're, they're, he's got a season under his belt. It's so funny how RTR like it's always the nickel part, not the five thousand dollar part. You know, like look at Chelsea yeah. and that whole the glitch like for the Nitrous, championship. Yeah, the solenoid. Yeah. What? That's it. Like, really? This is like, everybody's all smiles and it's like, oh shit, the roof's falling. Uh, the ceiling's falling. Like, the sky's falling. Like, what the <sighs> heck? I will say though, that was the, as much as I wanted like Chelsea to like win the event and everything else, it was almost too perfect that yeah. like, car's not working correctly. He's underpowered. He's just going to set and like, dude's clutch kicking like crazy. Like he, he's like, I don't need this car ever again. 
right? Like I, I may never be in this car ever again. I'm just going to beat the shit out of it for an entire lap. And it was so, it was so, dude, I, goosebumps just immediately thinking about BTW, it. BTW, uh, Porsche drift car. Oh, dude, dude. I was messaging everybody that was on site when the like photos and videos are coming out. I'm like, hey, this is what I'm seeing in the car. Like, what's going on with this? Like, uh, Reese was back to me. Uh, nine to nine, like, is, was back to me. I didn't even, me- I didn't message Chelsea. I was messaging everybody else but Chelsea to try and get <laughs> info. Cause, like, he'd be like, yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm driving that. Like, that's all I would get out of him. So I was like, who else yeah, can I bug cool, for right? info? Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, no, yeah, that, that was awesome. Uh, Jeff yeah. Jones, Jeff Jones announced new tire deal. Excited for yeah. him. He's absolutely the epitome of, uh, having fun, uh, you win before you show up. Mm-hmm. Would love to see him on the box, you know, seeing him. I, I, I love that dude. Like he's just, yeah. he has grown into himself. You know, when you just, yeah. you know, you know somebody so long and you're like, that looks good on you. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of like my the, hair and my beard right now, metaphorically, just like, fuck it. I'm old. Suits. You it know suits. what I mean? Yeah. Like just Jeff, Jeff, the Ninja Turtle thing. And like, you did a great job interviewing him and he, He's like me, just bounces all over the place. Um, what are his changes this year? What have you heard or uh, seen? So uh, another Kumo tire. Uh, very interested to see what his thoughts are on that. I I, I kind of want to wait and get, you know, after after the event to really understand how they do in competition. Uh, the big one is Evol uh, Auto Works. This is his new title. So I don't know the deal, like the background of the deal. Hopefully that means a little bit more cash injection into the program for him. Because that's... Honestly, that's one of the things that he's just missing to not be, you know, a top five driver is a little yeah. bit more budget to be able to develop and and do some more things. Or, you know, he drives a ton. Hot Pit is incredibly successful. Yep. It's developing some insane drivers. And, you know, he's around that. So yeah. he's going to get better as well. Yep. So, yeah, that's that's kind of it. It's all I've seen. So, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I love him. I think it's good. Evil Auto yeah. Works is uh, Inland, Inland Empire um, out over in Redlands. Uh, really cool. Mm-hmm. Cool shop, good people, do 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 good, honest work. So check out Evil E V O L Auto Works. Um, Castro, haven't heard much from uh, from Dr. Yeah, uh, so another driver Tire making change. the jump over to Kenda. Yeah, yeah, so that'll be that'll be cool. Uh, on the note of the Kendas, the early word is that these they have made a big step forward since last year. That the the tire compound is different. There's a lot of changes there. So that's that's going to be interesting. Seen some testing from a couple of different drivers. It they do look significantly better. Um Kenda did a great yeah. job by the way of of marketing that one day just like bloop 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 yeah. bloop. They're like this is this is our roster. I love that. Yeah. Again, this is this is being intentional, you know, and, and you talked about cutting into the history of tire manufacturers. Yokohama, BFG, these are companies that have gone the way of the Buffalo and I, I have homies mm-hmm. at Yokohama. I'm putting yokes on my car, so I'm Switzerland, so I'm not married to any of them, but, you know, <laughs> like I've, I've done it all. Like I've had, I, I changed my wheels like shoes, but um, I have homies at Yoke and I'm like, you'd be, you know, they're the official tire of Nitro Cross. And uh, I said, it'd be great to see you back. It's very fitting. It just needs to make sense. You know, Falcon, I'd love yeah. to get Falcon back. They've they've shifted their gears. Um, but I, I love what, what Kenda did. Well, welcome mm-hmm. to the show, Kenda. I, I think it's great. Yeah. So tire change, power plant, chassis, any any other uh, news? Like I'm looking at his Instagram and I'm not he, a ton, he went ice yeah. racing. He went ice racing yeah. over in over in uh over in um uh, Norway. Biggest biggest code he could find, that's for sure. Uh LTH. <laughs> Uh, LTH uh, is a battery company out of Mexico. It's been around 90 years. That's his new title. So, yeah. uh, Jean Metrodom, uh, looks like, uh, they passed the, the torch over to LTH. So not a company I was familiar with. I actually had to reverse image search the logo so I could figure out who it was. Uh, but <laughs> apparently Mexico, um, and a bunch in South America, pretty big. So, uh, yeah, just, just interesting to see. And I, I do very much like it when companies from different countries come over as, as big sponsors because, it it just shakes up the industry a little bit more too. So yeah, I'm just looking yeah. looking at his feed. Uh, just a, a great a great sweetheart of a dude. I I always just cut oh, into yeah. that. Um, you know, proud dad, husband. Need to get over to DR. Um, I saw Turk was over there with the with Toyota. Um, mm-hmm. A good ambassador, and that's again overall the 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 amount of countries being represented is is beautiful. So I, I, I love yeah, that. I, so we love. I got a wedding in DR later this year. So I got oh, yeah. I got to hit him up for. Yeah, yeah. I got. What I, are you doing? Uh, uh, my best friend's getting married. So he, it's um, 
Yeah. So I was like, Hey, uh, dude, can we like escape the resort life for a day? Cause I might have a guy who mm-hmm. can, can show us around. He so lives on a golf course, with by the way. And I know I need to get oh. over there too. He's like, I live on the, I was like, Oh shoot. <laughs> Again, you, you always talk about hockey. I talk about golf, by the way, uh, Fair. top golf. I am going to do an event at some point. I was trying to do it in Atlanta, but, uh, okay. type S has the same night. So I was like, all right, let's, I was going to bring out, you know, pain and her and uh killer Mike, but, um, same night. Sick. That I was going to do it, so, but maybe maybe Irwindale will do a, a top golf event. So I'm down. Little 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 car show. Go hit some balls. Drive and drive. Yeah. Drive a car. Drive, drive and ball. drive. Boop boop. I like that. See? Drive and yeah. drive. Yeah. I literally golf uh, four times this week, by the way. Or that's when this wild. Yeah. Hey, dude, yeah. that was my hockey schedule for for most of the winter. It was like four to five nights a week. So I, I saw I'm you right oh, there with you. Here's my hockey one: is <clears throat> um, big up uh, violent gentleman. If you ever need anything from violent mm-hmm. gentleman. Um, Hammer Talbert. Um, <clears throat> fun fact. <clears throat> excuse me. I announced Red Bull Crash Dice, which is the the racers right. go down. I I announced that in St. Paul, um, somewhere else, and Edmonton. So mm-hmm. I'm in Edmonton. My buddy Brandon Steinecker, he's the drummer for Ranted. Again, name dropping. Watch your toes. I said, hey, um, I see I see the VG guys are here. So let's link up. So I finally met them. This is years ago, six, seven years ago. with They're with uh, Mike Vallely, which is the oh, wow. dude that fought the four guys, the pro skateboarder, right? So Hammer Talbert, they own Violent Gentlemen. They're with Mike Vallely. Also, notably, they're with the mustached one, George Peros. So, which, okay. you, you know who Peros is, right? Hmm. Do you know who Peros is? George Peros? Uh, the, I, I know there's a hockey player named George Peros. Is this the yeah, same guy? Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, okay. That's, I, that's yeah. my hockey reference. I, I'm trying to okay, be okay, connect with it. you, okay, Canadia? Right. So, I'm just making George sure. Perry. I'm just making sure. Yeah. No, He's so he's <laughs> with them. Well, Hammer and Talbert don't drink, but George and I do. So we literally just okay. go drink and party. So George Peros and I ha- are hanging out in a hotel room with Hammer and Talbert asleep in the bed while we're drinking over there. Like, <laughs> it's like a Heaven's Gate scene. They're like, <laughs> there's just dead bodies in the bed. <laughs> and we're just drinking over their bodies in the dark. Yeah, so I, I party oh, with George Peros. That's Peros. funny. So yeah, ah, yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right, moving on. Jonathan <laughs> Castro from DR, and wow, we are going to Brazil. Joao Berion, why has it not coalesced and coagulated for Joao? What, what's he missing? Honestly, it feels like he's been building the car as he's been driving. Is is honestly what it feels like? There's a ton of breakdowns. We see a ton of breakdowns in in practice. You know, his first year that car was almost stock, and yeah. it just feels like he's just like adding to it, which. Part of me is like kind of okay with. I think that's really neat to like see that progression. But it's also like, dude, this is the big leagues. This is not where you're yeah. coming to learn. Like no. that's that's kind of my back and forth with it. Um, I know Sim Magic and Extreme Sim is is stepping in pretty big into his program. Uh, maybe that means some more activation stuff. I I really like how the Sim world is is really coming into major you know, role, real world, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's really interesting. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough. He just got married. Um, super cool wedding. Dude still had his hat on, which was crazy. Um, I don't know if it was at the <laughs> ceremony, but a lot you of have photos a beanie on all the time. It's a hundred degrees. So you're one to talk. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Where, Kettle, he right? Hat on. I'm like, bro, <laughs> we're in Utah. It's a hundred degrees. Take your beanie off. I don't think my wife would let me wear it to the wedding though. Uh, that's, eh, but Hey, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's like I didn't those see videos other, when like, like, major like it's like me shaving and the you know the kid like you see where like the dad shaves the mustache or the beard and it's like a little 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 toddler little guy and he's like yeah I like that I like that that's, that's <laughs> you and your wife you I, know you take you take I the posted, beanie off in bed she's like who ew get out of my bed who are you put it back change on, your danger put it back on. <laughs> I posted so weird. one photo without my hat on I got like three or four DMs people were like. Whoa, this is it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I take it off all the time. (laughs) This is it. (laughs) Pride of Paducah, Jonathan Hurst. Uh, Is he still still, uh, keeping it cool? Uh, Yeah, Mr. Cool on again. uh, Swapping over to the Cadillac XLR, which is basically a a C6 Corvette with a crazy body kit and like $2,000 taillights, which I was like, bro, you better find an alternative (laughs) the way you break taillights. Uh, Yeah, so... Looks good. Uh, one of one body kit on it. Pretty cool. I will say I was kind of a doubter whether or not he'd get it done I don't follow time, Jonathan but... Hurst on Instagram. I am so sorry. I, like what? <laughs> you do now. I do. You do now. Like what? I'm so sorry. Jonathan, I, I, I love you. Uh, he designed his wheels. I'm looking. <laughs> yeah. That's maybe, I was like, yeah, I haven't seen anything because I don't follow. Yeah. <laughs> such a jerk. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to like all his photos. I'm just going to blow up his feed real quick. Sorry. <laughs> 
just go like everything, comment. He's I'm like, here, I'm here. why is Jared liking everything? Like, he's like, my dog uh, died. I'm like, like. I'm like, no, no, like, don't do that. Yeah. Sorry, too soon. Um, uh, wow. Yeah. So yeah, Mr. Cool. He designed his wheels. Kenda, he was on... If I tour before, swapped yes. over to Kenda, um, which like, once again, don't know the insides of that deal, but that that there's got to be something interesting there to make that swap. Because uh, that's, I mean, yeah, you went from one of the fastest tires to a tire that was struggling last year. So hopefully that all works. But yeah, it's a C6 vet. Basically underneath of all that crazy body kit. So there's those taillights. He 3D yeah. printed taillights. So there's your I, answer. I, that's your best option, man. I go on eBay. Go anybody if you wanna you wanna laugh, go check out headlights and taillights for an XLR on eBay right now because they're like <laughs> two grand. <laughs> He's gonna collect them all like Pokemon. Uh, uh, yeah, again, I'm uh, literally like, like I'm literally I'm I'm liking all his photos because I feel so, so bad. Oh, he's running. Hey, uh, Josiah Falais, FDF race shop yeah. man. Like, talk about. Oh, I, I I don't follow him either. I am such a jerk. <laughs> I am such a. See, I see it all. I, I have a I have a secret account that I went and followed like everybody on, so I can like if I ever need to stalk drivers, I just go into that account and then and go through there. Yeah, always watching all the drivers. Wazowski, you um, little sneaky watching. troll, Canadian troll. I gotta stop I giving up all my secrets, man. Nerdwar oh. doesn't drop any. Like you right. just, you just don't know how he gets that info. Yeah. I think he's got phone taps, but mm. uh, yeah. Because uh, Kazuya Taguchi, got it, nailed it. Uh, looks good in testing. That's about it, man. Uh, yeah, looks really good in testing. Got Alec Robbins up front. I don't know. I, I don't know. He's uh, he's been a little quiet there. Had some cool YouTube videos come out, but like when it comes to the program, Jerry Yang's kind of got that dialed in, and I, I it's just more seat time, and I can I, I expect to see more crazy performances out of him. That's that's it. Yeah, so. I think uh, he's he's found a sweet spot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, the OG Agreed. original Gucci original gangster Toyota Gazoo Racing NA Gretty Performance Mottis GR eighty six. <clears throat> on Kenda tires, <clears throat> looking happy to see him. Little struggle bus with the threes racing campaign, which you know him, him and his homies. Um, happy back to see him 2J, back. With, I think it's the back, big thing. What? Back uh, he's back Getty? back on a two J platform. Yeah. No, uh, last year he ran the the weird Toyota AR engine that he struggled with. Yeah, but uh, yeah, back in a two J. That that alone is a huge confidence builder, right? Just proven, proven platform. And this is yeah. where we started talking about just the 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 level of suspension, power, things uh, attainable. Yeah. I, I think I think Ken cars looking sick. Love the livery. Yeah, looks so good. Great livery. By the way, can we talk about Manoa and him doing a, a, a Happy Meal activation? Right, McDonald's drifting Toyota. I mean, here's yeah. Kerwin, McDonald's here's Kerwin Frost, what the hell? and yeah. I mean, we could we could do that in the states. I mean, I you know yeah. I bought In and Out for everybody last year, but you know I, I sh you know love, love I In and Out. It's very on brand. In and Out doesn't sponsor yeah. anybody. They they buy racetracks. They yeah. But I have I have I, I have some VPs over there. Yeah, the Drift Twins by Toyota Gazoo and McDonald's Happy Sets coming out for twelve twenty four. They they did it like a full drifting happy meal. Like what? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I, is, I just, we need to see more of that stateside. Dude, look that's, at the gold McDonald's. It. Like, what? Oh, oh I know. Gosh. I, yeah, dude flies over, you know, runs some FD Japan. It's going to come back. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how any of them have done it. Uh, I don't know how, when you were doing it, like, that's crazy to me. I tried staying up to watch last night and I was so tired. I, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you flip back and forth those time zones and be okay. Because I got to do it. Dude, I I literally told it. somebody this story the other day when we did because we used to do Southeast Asia, so Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia. Um, funny yeah. story about that. I I remember um, Ryan Davis, aka Yair. He actually did the Formula Drift logo that is residing behind you. Um, he now works at oh. Race Service and those guys. But Ryan Davis did the FD logo. Um, flew huh. to Malaysia, landed, announced qualifying. Went out, ate local, drank local, got tattooed local, got a Borneo rose on my back. Um, announced the next day, game day, jumped on a plane that night. 24 hours door to door, 48 hours in the air. Uh, I was in the air longer than I was on the ground in Malaysia. <laughs> oh, it's so rough. But we're doing uh, it, baby. We're doing it. Just doing it. Yeah. Yep. And, and yeah just, just do it. Yeah. But I love those stories because... I, I care so I care a lot. I care a lot more mm -hmm. than people think. Like, 
That's it. So yeah. yeah. Ken Gushi. Agreed. Talk about again, just legend. Wanted to, you know, I'll tell you a little secret. Ryan Sage is the number one Ken Gushi fan. He loves him. Just we've really? seen him grow up. I mean, yeah, he was 16. Point. He didn't have his license. We always now he's a I mean he's a man. He's just a grown, a man. grown man. Yeah. And 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 he just has such a likability. Just, you know, when when Lorette, shout out to Lorette. We haven't talked about Lorette Nickel. Like, love Lorette. Um, she she does such a good job and she just interviews him and he has such a great attitude. That's it, man. There's only one yeah. winner and everybody else is losers. Um, I, I I don't know. There, there's something about humility. It just goes a long way for me. That's yeah. That's all I'm getting to. Is, yeah. Is I, I talked to him even even just right after popping an engine, and he's just like, "Yep, yeah, just keep moving." Like that's it. You could yeah. see, you could see like the defeat on his face, but you know what he was saying was like, "No, he just he's on to the next thing." So, yep. Uh, speaking of on to the next thing, Kyle Mohan. Uh, similar. Didn't see a lot of updates. Uh, I know he drives a ton. Uh, you know, even in the off season, our quote unquote off season, uh, does a bunch of stuff over at Hot Pit. Uh, yeah, sticking with Vitor, very sticky tire. I, I don't, it's tough on that tire with the, the lack of torque that the rotaries make. So I, I do think that's, that's, you know, potentially part of the issue. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, selfishly, I would love to see a situation where he couldn't drive a rotary, has to jump yeah. in something else and just see what it looks like. Right. Just, just, just once. That's it. Yeah. Jump in an S15 with a 2J. Just show me what you got, man. That's, that's cause I know it's there. I yeah. know it's there. Yeah, I'm I'm just looking again just while while we're talking I'm I'm hearing all you're saying and yeah, having fun again the the Jeff Jones kind of attitude mm-hmm. like you said the the rotary he is the last starfighter, you know, um yeah. him and him and Mad Mike, you know Mad Mike uh Drift McLaren by the way. Yeah, I know, right? No big deal. He told me about yeah. that when I was there in December and they were waiting for the car, waiting for the car and finally it shows up. Super he's like I love how he trolled. He's like, "Do we put a rotary in the McLaren?" I was like, "You're a <laughs> The little it's photo like a, of it in front. Yeah, no. I was just like, bro, bro. So we can we can only get the people can only get so mad. Like, oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd be so amazing. That'd be uh, incredible. Uh all right. So uh Matt Field. Holy Matt Field. cow. So I, close. I feel like he For so many years. <laughs> him, Odie, Turk. I feel like yeah. those best like, bridesmaids. Again, Parker, Parker and I, my oldest, were talking. I said, they're 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 due and I'm talking about so humility due. segueing into now I'm just mad I'm not I'm not you know I'm not I'm not upset I'm just disappointed you know like mm. I feel like now he's just like nah F that I don't know why I'm said F that fuck that like we I, I, <laughs> we're out for blood you know what I mean like yeah I, I feel like Matt's like no nope. you know yeah I- I don't, I don't know what's left. Like it's, it seems, you know, you look over the seasons and it's like one bad round that, that ruins it, whether it's a crash or mechanical that's or something. Turk. That's those yeah. dudes that, yeah. And like Forsberg won a championship without ever winning a round. What does but that it was tell consistent. you? Consistent. It's consistency. just consistency. Tanner, Tanner yeah. Faust won a championship by being in the room. Your talent mm-hmm. gets you in the door or was it? Yeah. Your, your name gets you in the door. Your talent keeps you in the room. Right. Yeah. So. Tanner, Forsberg, it's about consistency. Don't go ham. And when Vaughn won his championship, he didn't go to 11. He was at an 8.5. Yeah. When Chelsea yeah. won a championship, he didn't go to 11. He literally has a tattoo on his back. That's 11 knob. He went to 8.5. Got to 9. 9.5. You know, that's again, that's we, it. Could, we could quote Tropic Thunder. I won't even, you know, Robert Downey yeah. Jr. says he won't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I'm, <laughs> I'm not what you're putting down. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. We'll never see a movie like that ever again, never. unfortunately. Never. Uh, but yeah, I, that's that's it. Matt Field is, uh, Ryan Turk, Odie, they've all, it's always been one round, one incident that that was it. If that thing didn't happen, whether it was in their control or out of their control, they would have won the championship. But always the and bridesmaids. Matt, and Matt works with like a, a, a mental coach. Like uh, that's, yeah. uh, and, 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 you know, meet his dad. He's a racer, his mom. She's, yeah. she's, she's, She's sparky. She's very, you know, she's, she said some words to me. I'll just say it like love, <laughs> love, love his mom. And, you know, just say it. But Brandon Scarpelli, he yeah. shouted out Scarpelli, who I've known for years. Yeah. Um, and, and he's got a great camp. It's just yeah. missing one thing. That's called the Formula Drift Championship. That's it. But, That's what a, but, but, but an absolute exempt, 
exemplary, I was going to say exemplary example, uh, a great example of winning before you show up. He's, he's yeah, that. Perseverance. I love his attitude, Just, perseverance. Yeah, good word. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like, I mean, people, I know he rubs people the wrong way in, in some situations and, and the, the cockiness and the arrogance, but like that seems to be the headspace he has to put himself in to, to drive the way he drives. Yeah. And at the end of the day, everybody's there to win. So I'm sorry that somebody's just being a little bit more vocal about them winning. That's it. That's all he's doing. I always, I, I've told this to Vaughn's face and, and, and I just, I always say it. And I tell my kid, you know, my Parker's 17 and my 10 year old, there's, there's a, there's a fine line between cocky and confident. Mm. You know, there's, there's, there's something about being humble, but also being, uh, being confident, you know, like, yeah. and, 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 and you can run that razor's edge, you know, but. You need to, don't get high in your own supply, but you know, ma- maintain, maintain. And I, and, and yeah, I, and, I love and where sometimes Matt's at. you have to, you have to, please do. Yeah. Yeah. You got to cross the line sometimes to know where it's it lays. every round. And I think that's what he does. It's yeah. every round. You got it. You got it. You can't think, you know, are you thinking championship? Yeah. They're always thinking championship, but yeah. you got to win that one round. You got to, what's, what's in front of you. Like Kobayashi, you got to eat each hot dog. <laughs> As they go down, pre-soak the bun, the which is the weirdest thing. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah, I can't do uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Mike, right. Power. Mike Power. Mike what's, Power. What's, 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 what's he got cooking? Uh, looks like a refresh. Uh, nothing too crazy. I have no official word on tire. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, just honestly, a bit of a refresh there. Adam LZ is his first, first battle. So yeah, I, I mean, moments of brilliance. Great driver. Very, very looks, uh, he looks, looks dangerous. Uh, but mm-hmm. he is one of the most soft-spoken, quiet people, very introverted, um, you know, fellow hand tattoo enthusiast. <laughs> yes, I, I, do, I do love Mike. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I haven't, I, I've yet to receive my, my sweater, but uh, yeah, I, I, I guess we're in a club now. But yeah, okay. great, great guy. Similar, just more seat time. Made the move yep. out to LA. Big financial move. And, and I think that took away from some free spending in his program. But the upside is you know, you're, you're kind of in the industry and it was helped them out sponsorship wise. So that moved to LA is a, an investment. And I say LA, yeah. like the greater that area. I know if right. I don't like say the exact area, people get mad, but I don't know all of them. So wait, you live in LA. Do you know Steve Smith? Oh, you got to know. Yeah, dude, I get that in Canada all you're the time. Oh, you're in Canada. I'm like, yeah, it's the second biggest country in the world. Yeah, for sure. I know your friend. There's more people. <laughs> was it? I don't know. Whatever. There's, yeah, there's more people in, in California than there is in, in Canada. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Nick Novak. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Big Nickelback fan. <sighs> that Nick Novak. Uh, yeah. It's made the swap over to Kenda. Uh, it doesn't look like he's on Jerry Yang Racing uh, this year. So a bit of a change there. Uh, I assume he's just kind of going solo with this program. Uh, obviously okay. had an incredible event uh, coming out of Irwindale. Uh, yep. Hopefully he can ride that momentum. Tire change from GT to Kenda. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the big changes. Uh, upside with him. You know, he's got a battle with Vaughn as his first one, which I don't believe Vaughn is at this round. So, you know, kind of a free pass into the next round, which, uh, you know, it happens. It's going to happen. Byron makes a, an appearance again. <laughs> Byron. Uh, shout out to Sam Nalvin, uh, Paco, uh, and Corey Hosford. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, hung, out, I, hung out with Paco at, uh, in Bakersfield, actually. He was oh, there. Uh, when I got to catch up a little bit. Yeah. That's a sentence yeah. I never thought I'd hear. Hung out with Paco in Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Del Taco in Bakersfield. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, Robert Thorne, uh, you know. Fresh build. He, I think he's learning. And, and here's the big thing about Robert Thorne for me is traditional race car driver, which we saw back in the day, you know, Reese Millen, Sam, you know, uh, Tyler McCory, The Rock, mm-hmm. traditional ra- Conrad Grunwald, who's flourishing. Um, traditional race car driver now goes drifting. I, I think that's mm-hmm. just such a good th- and 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 just enjoys it and mm-hmm. makes makes and makes noise and prospect makes the jump to pro. Um, is Reader prepping his car? Uh, no, I think Reader's got a different car, the yellow one that he's that he's building. Okay. He tagged yeah, Robert Thorne in something the other day. Oh, in interesting. A story. I'll have to look at it. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. I don't think so, because the BMW that I saw being prepped is nowhere close to being ready for, for Long Beach. So, yeah. I, you, we'll, I mean... We'll get to, we'll again, get to Reader. I got some news on Reader. Oh, yeah? <sighs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh we'll set set everyone up for that. But uh, by the yeah. way, Robert so, yeah, Thorne's an athlete. For Robert Thorne. I love I love Robert. Oh, yeah. Again, don't follow him. He doesn't follow me, but I'm gonna give him a follow. It just it just says Robert Thorne athlete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. it says. Oh, I don't follow Josiah Fillet. <laughs> my bad. I, I need to follow uh, him too. I'm such give a, you a jerk. list. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> I'm right. saying if you uh, want, I got a, I got a database. <laughs> uh, yeah, R- Rome. RCP, Rome, Rome CP. giving modern. So he's giving himself hell. Is he giving moderns hell? He's just this is a drift, drift <laughs> masturbation here. He's giving himself hell. Like, uh, I just, yeah. What he, I, I mean, his new car. He's got. I know, I know. It's it's interesting to see. It's be it'll be weird to see him outside of uh, his original chassis. It's always interesting when somebody switches chassis. E82. Very similar. Does have some differences. Car looks sick. Um, it does. I, it, and that came out of left field, but I did not anticipate that. Did you know that he was building a new chassis? I knew he had it like in development, but it kind of went from like a playing around on the track a little bit to like, oh, by the way, this is my pro car. Like it, it, it escalated what seemed to be kind of quickly. So mm-hmm. I know I talked to him a bunch. He's like, yeah, we're kind of building this. So I don't know if maybe the Connor situation forced his hand because he's like, shit, I just gave away the car I was going to drive for this thing. Uh, I know he competed in the E82 a little bit, but I didn't, I was not aware that that was the plan to run that car in pro this year. So I love it. I, I think yeah. it's great. I think it's, yeah. it's, it's just that it's, it's Dai Yoshihara going from an S chassis to a more developed chassis, which mm-hmm. didn't, didn't end up working out, but it's just that level of, I don't want to say relevancy, but yeah, and, you know, an, e, an E36 compared to that E80, like it's a, yeah, he, he, it's, 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 it should a, happen. it's a big jump. Yeah. It needs to, it needs to happen. Um, I mean, there's more development and, and newer chassis are kind of getting a bit more love too, when it comes to product development and things like that. Yeah. Right. We're going to run at E46s eventually. We'll run at E82s, <laughs> but that'll be after we run at E46s. And XLRs. Yeah, yeah, and S13s Cadillac. and <laughs> Cadillacs. Every every time I see an XL, I just send it to Hearst. I'm like, in case you need another chassis, here you go. <laughs> They're so hard <laughs> so to find. Bad. But uh, uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take out Kyle Cross's. Uh, was it the the Darkwing Duck? What's it called? The the Black Hawk? Oh, What's he's he? he's got he's yeah got, some weird package on his on his Cadillac. Oh, weird package. That thing's dope. That thing's oh, amazing. Yeah. His Cadillac. Yeah, it's the Darkwing yeah. Duck. I'm joking. I don't know what it is. Rudy Hansen making the jump. Uh, Rookie of the year, uh, he could maybe he could be he could maybe. be you know I mean we 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 kind of breezed over that looking at the green dots here Rudy Hansen, mm-hmm. Manoa, Madison, Hobson. Hobson says I want it. I want rookie of the year. Yeah, Rudy could Rudy. He's he's fiery. He's driving yeah, he's, all the damn time. Dude, his just team is having fun. Stop they driving. party. They get weird. Like they, oh, they, yeah. they, they meander the pits and underwear or something. I don't even know. Like I've heard stories. I, I, I wasn't I've, there. I've heard but. stories too. Yeah. I wasn't there either. <laughs> I, think, I think you and I heard the same story, yeah. but no, I, I, I mean, very, very supportive team. Um, good group of people around them. It's like, it's like their own little cult that like yeah. just follows them around from like event to event. But Hey, listen, if you've got the support, go with it. Um, uh, yeah. Jumping on GTs, which is good. Very competitive Ooh. tire. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, for, you know, rookie jumping onto GT. That's very interesting. Uh, I think that's a good testimony to, to, to him kind of, yeah, his livery did look sick, um, or does, yeah. um, that's a good testimonial for him to have, mm. you know, a, a, a very proven tire say like, yep, we like you. Let's do it. Especially with a lot of movement on the tire space. A lot of people moving around this year to see that pickup is, is quite interesting. So great livery. Didn't see a lot of changes to the car. Uh, one kind of cool thing is he puts a, like a mesh screen, like for like a screen door over his rad. So if he needs to clean it, he just slides it out. And then like all the, all the crap's on. I was like, Oh, as long as he's not using like a plastic one, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> right. Uh, but, literal, yeah. his first battle, Diego Higa, as you said earlier. Um, yeah. Ryan literal. Still flying that RB flag. Uh, yeah, still on that. It, is it is it a uh, Mohan situation where you're like, hey, do we do we just throw an LS in it and and call it a day or what? Uh, I'm not sure, man. I mean, if it if it keeps running, if he keeps making the power out of it, I see no reason why not sticking with it. If he, you're having engine issues, you got to deep look and you know look deep in your soul and go, is this the right move? Right. Uh, Sunoco as a title though is really interesting. Uh, yeah, saw it at PRI. 
Looks like potentially new livery design since then, but that's a big move. Like that's a big Sunoco's company to jump on. Legendary, and and they they yeah. do, they're doing a lot of cool stuff. They work with Grid Life. Um, that that's that's what I again back to the whole where drifting's at. The state of the union is, you know, Grid Life. This that like there's so many different angles. It's skateboarding. You're either mm. pro comp guy, you're a street guy. You do this. You film parts. I love that. And it compliments, you know, some people were just disrupted about grid life trying to invade and move in on Formula Drift. Never the case. Always no. just coexisting, you know, and there's, yeah. there's enough room in this. I mean, we're eight weekends a year. What are you supposed to do? Like for me, like I would love to just announce Formula Drift. If I make a million dollars, I'll tell you right now, like love Nitro Cross, love what I do. If, if I had, again, we won the lottery, finished the house, love our house. I would still announce Formula Drift, but I would shut down probably... 75% of the other stuff I do. Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Like it's, it's such a, I mean, it's such a good time. And, and yeah, on the, on the grid life note, like on both, both ends, I mean, I've been to almost every Midwest event and it's, I just, I love it. It's like a staple on the calendar at this point. And yeah, yeah there's no, Chris Stewart's at, at a bunch of the FD rounds. He's hanging out. He's been up in the booth. Like yeah. there's no, oh, yeah. there's I no actually, black, I introduced him there. to Jim and, and, and Ryan. And now they're like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. They're, yeah. I mean, that's, I, I need, I need my homies to all, like, I introduced Nitro yeah. Cross to FD and, and Grid Life and we all cohabitate, baby. Like, you know, I do all the stuff with Snap on and Hot Wheels. I'm trying to, trying to cross pollinate. Um, and that's and that's yeah. that's where we're at. We you know that's you're, that's, that's you're gonna good. be like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon at some point of yep. like just you know action sports <laughs> like Jared Dienda in the middle and everything goes off from there. I mean, I, I'll I'll <sighs> do it all. Kids parties, bat mitzvahs. I make a mean balloon snake. It's it's amazing. I got again. You've heard three of my five jokes. That's it. <laughs> it's um, all good. We just get the bingo card out. All right, Thanksgiving. Uh, Ryan Turkey. I mean Turk. Um, the turkey bird. Turkey bird. Uh, yeah. Quiet. Not, he just, so talking about a business structure, he's a hired gun. He's, yeah. but talk about in the gym, like not only literally eating peppers and doing burpees, but I haven't seen him post much about his workouts. I mean, if you nah. don't post it, did it really happen? Like me on the Peloton. I don't think so. Like I need to, I need to post a, a, me and my youngest singing every day. It's just, yeah. you know, whatever. I tune but, in for that pretty much every day. It's good. It's good. <laughs> People, I get more kid, comments kid. on that. They're like, I love you and your son sing every day. I'm like, thank you. That's really sweet. Um, Turk is in the shadows again, learning, like mm. buying mill machines and, and working. And he's got some sick, like, it's so funny. My buddy, Keith Sarlos, uh, he's a winemaker. He's like, yo, that one truck that I was like, what's truck? Oh, Stout, mm. the Toyota yeah. truck that he went to the, he went to the fat ice race, that Porsche event and took that and raced it in the snow. Forsberg was out there. Daniel Arsham, uh, Patrick Zwart, or sorry, Patrick Long, uh, Jeff Zwart, um, they're out there. He's built, he's got some projects, bro. I mean, mm. GT4586, right? GT86, the, yep. uh, the Formula Supra, the Stout. Yep. He's got, if that gives you any indication of what he's working on outside of Formula Drift, just wait. I, yeah, I, I'm super, I, any of his builds are incredible. I've loved all of them. They're always very unique and, and tie different styles together. So yeah, to see like what you do after putting like a Judd V10 <laughs> into like, what's next, right? So yeah, yeah. I got to uh, got to go uh, to Australia last year and watch that thing rip around. And he's like, uh, like his new sound. arrow and stuff. Also, Ferris with the with the Momo Corvette, like his new livery yeah. and or not livery, but his new package. Holy cow! Sorry, mm -hmm. just diverting. No, here. it's all good. Yeah, uh, I mean, the only change that I saw, which uh, Steph accidentally leaked very early, and I, I managed to catch it, is uh, swapping over to the B series engine in the Corolla. So no more four cylinder. We officially don't have any four cylinders left. What? In Formula what? Drift. Yeah. Wait, this, I did so not has, see that. Yeah. So that has been, that is now the case. Um, Steph, I think, posted a testing video the other day, has a very unique sound. Uh, part of that I'm thinking is uh, Steph is like 3D printing manifolds out of Inconel. Like, th that's the level that's. Oh, this he, he's on. been doing that for a minute, though. He did that. Oh, I he know, did that with the like, Supra. Well, I think it's just the, only way to get some of the packaging. I know with the B series, the way that like the manifold integrates into the head and shit. Anyways, it's either way, very similar engine package that we saw in Osmo Supra. That's going to help with a bunch of things. Um, there's a few things I'd be interested to see uh, if they've also changed in the car. 
you know? I just gotta, someone, can you distract Steph for me so I can go and inspect these? Like, <laughs> of we'll course. just like, we'll figure this out. <laughs> like, I love, can you I love me so I can <laughs> He's so funny. He's just so, so freaking funny. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah. what, what engine is he going with? The same, the same B, I think it's the B, I'm going to get it wrong, B58, the same engine that's in the traditional, like the new uh, A90 Supra that was running in Osmo's car. It's the same one that is now in Turk's car. So they they have the same engine package, whereas before they had the uh, 2AR, I think yep, it was. 2AR, yeah. Yeah, the four cylinder. So yeah, hopefully it means, you know, that engine's not as strung out. It held up, like that, that four cylinder held up, but- oh yeah. You're giving, you are giving up some some torque with with that layout. Hopefully, now with this, um, we'll see a little bit of a difference. Not that like he really needed it. You no, know, his driving's incredible. Yeah, so it might uh, just be a serviceability thing now. Uh, Jonathan Hurst uh, just said, "Now I've made it." Uh, he just he just DM me, <laughs> so just just says, "Now I've made it since I fall." <laughs> I can't wait. I, hopefully he listens to it and realizes where it all comes from. That's, oh, that's that'll hysterical. Be great. No, I, I, uh, again, we got to bounce around here. We're not just in an order. Simon yeah. Olson, holy cow. Talk about just a weapon, just a, a, a you know, you coming from the yeah. background of the chef world. What a recipe. You know, Simon, Norwegian Drift Champion, tries to campaign this 2J Supra. Mm-hmm. Don't know who built the car, but just didn't uh, work. Didn't work. Yeah. Car, and, like actual build of the car, I don't think was the issue. It like, he just wasn't piloting it correct. Like it just didn't suit. It didn't mix. It just, they, yeah. they, the two things did not jive. But once it was in, once he was in the S15 with, with Odie set up, it was like, oh, like just the, his first run in, in Long Beach that last year, I, I was up there. I just looked at it. I was like, oh shit, this is it. Like yeah. you could see it. You could see the confidence immediately. So the first yeah. time driving an LS, first time driving an S chassis, which is unbelievable. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Taylor Hole. Wild. Taylor, let's go, baby. Come on. Yeah. Tamara, shout out. Uh, he's got Hole, some pull, builds Hole. going in the background. Uh, the actual Corvette, I don't think, is getting any major changes. Um, Sponsors-wise, everything looks more or less the same. Uh, Wild Willys looks like they maybe bumped up a little bit sponsorship level, which is kind of cool. Um, so maybe we'll we'll see some more stuff out of that. You know, I I mean, if you need some some beard cream or beard oil, like, you know, might have a guy. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that, I, you know, <laughs> I need some beard growth oil if anybody can hook yeah. me up with that. Um, yeah, I just didn't see any, any massive changes out of that on the, on the pro program. Just lots of cool stuff, some body swap um, on another car. And that's kind of, kind of it. So, <laughs> sorry, just figuring it I'm, out. I'm texting, I'm uh, DMing uh, Jonathan Hurst. I'm like, you'll hear on the uh, Outer Zone podcast. Oh shit! Well, <laughs> that response is going to be interesting. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, <sighs> yeah, want want to see Taylor flourish, do do his thing. Yeah. Um, all right, we're we're winding down here. Only two more drivers left. Trenton Beecham. Uh, well, what missing Beecham one? Got cooking. So, huh? You 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 did miss one, and that's where I was going to oh. get to Travis Reader. So, where did we? How do we miss Reader? Well, Travis Reader is not going to be competing in FD this year. What? Yeah. Uh, so at the time of recording, it hasn't been officially announced. I did get clearance with him on this, but uh, if you are watching, uh, there'll, there'll be a, a podcast where he explains it. Not mine. Um, I, I, the name of the show is is escaping. Oh me, yeah, his homie. Sad. Yeah, I I really actually like the show. I don't know why the name is escaping me right now, but no, I I, uh, I know what it is. It's uh, the Failure Podcast. Failure Podcast. Yeah. So he'll break it down a little bit more if you want some more reasoning why uh you'll find out there but yeah some things changed last minute for him it seems and unfortunately we're not gonna see travis reader this year so i'm hoping it's more of a dan briquette situation where he can come back and and crush things but yeah so who's the yellow car that's his other car that's his uh like he basically had a spare chassis that was being built and ready to go so okay yeah i mean i i i I get it Uh, you know it, it happens 2019 yeah. Formula Drift Rookie of the Year, and you know we saw him. Yeah, that's it. It, it happens, man, and yeah, that's that's the way it goes. Um, yeah. So, I for anybody listening, if you want a better explanation, it's not my place to say. Go check his favorite podcast uh, that that would have dropped beforehand. Um, he dropped a bit of a teaser on his socials. Uh, you can kind of see what it's hinting at, but yeah, it sucks. Oh. Um, very. I'm a huge Travis Reader fan, so it uh, that that was a tough one. All right. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, well, you're talking about out and I'm talking, I'm texting with Hearst and he's like, tell me you're not out. I was like, no, I'm not out. Like, I don't, what? No, I'm just telling you like, what? <laughs> yeah. I did an April Fool's joke. Did you ever see that one where I'm like, well, this is it. And I was like, I'm no, no longer announcing. Like it, it was, it was, it was April Fool's. So I was ago? driving down to Long Beach and I did a story and I was like, all right guys, this is it. I'm, I'm out. And I'm like, like Nate Hamilton was like, what? No, no way. Well, I was like, what day is it? My mom. Yeah. My, oh, my mom. My mom called me. I, was, I remember oh, where really? I was. I exited and my mom's like, really, Jared? Like, well, I was like, mom, what day is it? What? It's like, it's, 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 it's Friday. I was like, what is the date? She's like, you yeah. son of a. Yeah, it's funny. The, well, did shit, you catch the, I, the one? What? Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, Which I was, was going to say on the April Fool's note, did you catch the one that uh, I helped Odie and Simon out with where they talked about I, moving over to monster trucks? I did. I did. I yeah, was like, yeah. fun little. I didn't. Yeah. I did no, not I know, bite you on caught anybody's right April Fool's. I did not bite on. I was like, I just know. Like, you're not. You just know. You wake up that day and you're like, no, I'm not believing anything I, don't I see believe today. A damn thing. Yeah. 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 I didn't believe my wife. Uh, she's a, she's a, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Beecham. What, what's, what's updates with Beecham? Uh, man, uh, sticking with Nexon, it's no big change there. I know there was a lot of, Mechanical things he was fighting last year. Obviously, Utah, he overcame one of them, which had a, a pretty standout performance. So mm -hmm. I think now that he's got it all dialed, I, I would expect, you know, very much top 16, top eight in a pretty regular fashion. Um, he's got Castro as his first battle. Uh, not going to be an easy one to kick off with. Uh, but yeah, not a, not a ton has changed in the offseason, uh, it seems. So, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because he left last year on a pretty, on a pretty good clip. Yeah. So I, I honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah. He's getting violent. Seeing him on the dyno three more yeah. weeks. He's, he's, he's putting in, putting in some turns. Yeah. Yeah. So, like you said, just, it came together that, that Mustang, he just needed to get rid of. It just did not, yeah. did didn't not make sense. Drive. Didn't make sense anymore. No, did not didn't make drive. sense anymore. Last but definitely not least, uh, Vaughn getting junior. Yeah. Vaughn getting junior. Uh, just, Coming in to screw up the points again. I like it. I really do like it. <laughs> <laughs> and with this too, like especially with the new bracket system, it just means you're going to see him in that that first bracket every pretty much every time he's appearing. Because yep. he wouldn't have been at the round previous unless he's doing any back to backs. Um, I think he came out and announced like what rounds he's doing. But then I've also heard through the rumor mill that might change and that there might be some like thing. And like I mean, yeah. you know how this is. You know how this place talks. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to gossip, you know, but yeah, right. I, I was but, texting with him the other day. I'm going to see him um, next week for the, uh, so he, he's saying Atlanta and Irwindale. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what kind of came out publicly. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd heard there might be some other openings. So yeah, that could just be rumors. That could just be me stirring the pot, but, uh, I don't but know. I, but, I'd like but, to see it. He, you know, obviously him and Adam shared a shared a chassis. So this yeah. year, just chassis is just going to sit, you know, and they had to rebuild guess, two yeah. new cars, you know, because... And, and like, if they've got the space, wouldn't it make sense to just bring a full spare chassis with you? Like, what a flex. God damn. Right? Just to have a, <laughs> another car ready to go? Like, a top tier, you know, full, almost completely from the ground up, custom built Mustang ready to go. Just, a we'll bring it just winning in chassis in your back yeah. pocket. Yeah, why not, right? That's so. Yeah, uh, I'm. I love it. I'm glad that he's going to be in Atlanta, uh, just for obvious reasons that you know, it just just the heritage that's there. Um, be, would have been cool to see him out in Long Beach, but uh, you know that means Novak gets kind of that first pass. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe some will change. Maybe we'll see him in another round. I don't know. I always like him in Seattle as well. I just I, I like the way he drives that track. So, What's your favorite just, track? Oh man, to watch. <sighs> To, to like experience, there's almost nothing like Road Atlanta. Like to be there, there's an energy to Road Atlanta that you just can't put your finger on. Irwindale has a similar level, but it's different. Mm -hmm. There's just, because it's the end of the season, you can just feel the tension. Uh, but like to be there, definitely Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and just like even from a spectator perspective, there's that's almost the right no bad answer, by the way. House. That's, that's the right yeah. answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely my my go to if I got to pick one. Um, yeah, I, I I agree with yeah. you. I would say Atlanta, um, Seattle has slowly crept in as my second. 
Like I, I love Seattle because it's just, it's the Leatherman of tracks. You got to bring your fast mm-hmm. game. You got to bring your slow game. You got to bring technical. You have to bring mm-hmm. just all of it. The, tr- the track is a five grit sandpaper. It's not yeah. a thousand grit. It just eats it up. So attrition, car management, driving prowess, mental head game, amazing crowd. Talk about energy. That place, yeah. I mean, I don't know how the stands are still up with the feet pounding. Um, and, and again, back to, back to the, perspective of, of your enthusiasm and professionalism and excitement and insight. Um, I'm, I'm excited to, to see you, you and I and the whole season entirety of a season and mm-hmm. see it. I always say like, man, I'd love to watch a formula drift event. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like I've never, yeah, to like, like just sit and yeah, I've never done that. It's like, so y- it's your different. perspective is healthy. It's different in the booth. And, and that was like the biggest wake up call to me where, the way that I experience the event in the booth is so different. Um, just little things are like making, you know, making sure we're doing our jobs, right? Like that we're like, we're doing everything correctly, you know, hitting all the notes and we don't have to get into all those details, but like doing what we need to do. But then also, you know, there's this weird buildup where you're doing the live call. I'm trying to like focus as hard as I can on what's going on while also making sure that I can take your handoff, which you're really good at doing the handoff. And then like being able to jump in and provide something that isn't just me going like, well, that was yeah. fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, oh, sick. So, you're like, you're like fucking Chris Farley when he's like, remember that time when you sang a thing? That was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it is, it's, it's very different, but I, I appreciate that. And, and I want to, I don't ever want to lose the fan part of that. That's mm-hmm. like something I, I, I'm focused on that like, I never wanted to feel like I just have to go where I'm there or it's work or anything else. I still want to have all of that enthusiasm that like these hyper fans have, like the the 1% of FD fans. That's, You're in it though. That's, that's my, that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm, I, 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 I'm not meaning to cut you off. I'm only cutting you off or no, I interjecting, I guess is a better word because, uh, you know, there's actions speak louder than words. I put an exclamation point on it, you know, as far as run call and my role and my opportunity. I mean, I, 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 my wife has asked me, and I'm sure your wife does too. You get excited about this? Yeah, I have to. And and you you know you're on the back end of, of business and web stuff, and you know what what you do as far as marketing and whatnot. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm still eager to see my friends win. You know, not yeah. not not. I say that all encompassing. Ryan Sage, Andy, Kevin, the judges, the fans, mm-hmm. the sponsors, everybody win. That's that's my platform is is to 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 give back to people and be in edutainment um educating entertaining somewhere between a late night talk show host stand up comedian and a tour guide that's that's where i live yeah. and that's our responsibility to the fans anybody listen to this 2 hours deep into what the heck they can expect in a 2024 formula of season and we haven't even talked about prospec um yeah. but the the minor leagues is sometimes you know people love NCAA sports over pro because they're a little more hungrier and some people freaking hate form of the drift because they're like, oh, it's professional drifting. What's not the okay? That's fine. You don't have to like yeah. it. Don't watch it. It's fine. People are like, oh, really? That's good. Yeah. I was like, yeah, don't watch it. Like, put Still me on mute. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 you know, announcing Need for Speed Pro Street back in the day, people would put me on mute. Like, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, cool. Like, you know, it's not about the money, it's about the passion. And mm-hmm. I've lived it, you've lived it. You're a great contribution. Can't wait to have you in the booth. Sopa will be doing prospect. Um, yeah. I'm excited about that. He has that same. same sort of enthusiasm from the start line to the booth. You're from the, you know, the, the, the passion the pit. Pits, the, really. the, yeah. the photography <laughs> the pit. pit. <laughs> the passion pit. You like that? That's the a good passion one, right? pit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the passion pit to the, to, to the box, dude. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm humbled to be part of the equation and I'm absolutely thankful to Ryan Sage and Jim Lyle. I'll say it. And I'll say it again. I've, I'm, so thankful and again eager to uh I'll never wear a beanie um on a hot day, but I'm 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 happy that Everyone you are you or sorry, wear a toque. My bad. <laughs> toque, I put some respect you. on it. It's all good. <laughs> cool. Well, I know uh for everybody listening, I mean we there's so many more things that we have to to, to cover, but we're two hours in. I know Jared and I both have some stuff coming up as well. Um yeah, uh, I mean uh on the judging note, I, I kind of want to sit down with Vernon and have one on one with him. That yeah. dude's I, I, every time I feel busy, I go look at that dude's schedule. Um, is he that slim? Yeah, that, 
Dude, it's crazy. He's just he's Why? just in every other country because he's judging all over the world constantly. That's right. Like he is he is touching like every bit of events. So uh, for, if you guys don't know, like that that's going to be an interesting podcast because he is so knowledgeable. It's, What's it's his insane. handle? I don't think I follow him. Uh, I I have to look it up. It's like Vernon Vernon something. I'd have to pull that Vernon up. Something. Well, that, yeah. that really narrows it down. Um, I'll pull it, yeah. Yeah. What what it, it's 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 Vernon. It's Egger. Reese, yeah, Reese, and then Robbie is floating. Uh, is still around, but it's like That's they're going to do the same, yeah, same rotation kind of thing. So, yeah. And Chris Yule, uh, Chris Yule's yeah. shooting up to uh, P two Patrick's spot, yeah. so he's he's in the tower. And like you said, that navigation, you, you're you're behind the curtain, dude. And it's not like a, it's not the skulls. It's not like this. You know, mm, did you get your ring those, yet? Yeah. Did you get your yeah, ring? I got it. Okay. Yeah. Just oh, I didn't sure. get that ring. I got the other rings. Yeah. <laughs> I just met the skull ring. Um, um, you're in. Kiss the ring. Um, it's it, it's cool, man. I, I'm excited. 2024 season. Thank thank you again, Jacob, for you know this is kind of my idea. I said, hey, let's let's get let's get let's, let's break it down because yeah, you'll never know it all. You know, and that's no. that's what I've learned. Just announcing or presenting and just being like, hey, you want to know something about a car? Just go ask that kid. You know, I always say metaphorically it's the it's the hogwarts library all those books all the ladders all those things you'll never be able to read all those books but sure as shit you can ask somebody be like hey tell me about that and you get the little yeah. cliff notes so no, yeah i agree well I, I really appreciate it i'm super looking forward to this season and and humbled and honored to to be able to even have a chance at the job so thank you sir and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year for everybody listening and watching at home if you're listening jump on youtube and watch because uh, jared's like just flashing Jonathan Hurst uh, DMs and you can see Chick-fil-A how I animated sauce. both of you. Chick Fil A sauce, yeah, yeah, that's definitely getting clipped and, and posted for sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Those on Sundays, yeah. my pleasure. Like Chick Fil A, there you go. Cool. All right, thanks again, and thank you everybody at home, and we'll see you guys and see you in Long Beach. Oh.